asleep in the dark. Let us eat. Discord murder party. Let's see who's gonna die. The god of murder and death is ready to see who has to say bye bye. It could be on an island or in a game show, but who is the villain here? I think you know. Discord murder party. Get ready for a game of love. I am the boy giving you wet the empty chasm in your chest. I am the sky of black stars, the aching drop of the abyss. I am your final breath. When you're quiet, I'm content. This is my story, my words. I'll end this descent. Hello and welcome to Discord Murder Party, a fun game night with friends where nothing bad happens, also known as the number one trending TV show on DoesTheDogDie.com. I'm your host, some kind of murder god, and these are my friends as assigned monster kin by Uprising Attorney. Starting with Adric, who is an orgy? Whoa, you just called him an orgy, yeah. <laughs> what? No, that's not what I was going for! Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Kristen, you're you're the biggest weeb. Oh. You should know what that word is. I actually yeah, don't, I'm actually not familiar. Oh, no. Okay, well, well I've already I, I assigned a Rochi kin. Um, Kristen messed it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've lost control of the stream. I'm sorry. We have to cancel the finale now. <laughs> Off to a late start. Okay, we didn't get that hundred um, views. We got to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we've got Alex, who. Was... Uh, did... Do I not even get to say hi? Yes, you can oh, say yeah. hi! <laughs> hi, you all talked over me. I didn't know when to say anything. <laughs> That's all you get. Moving on. Okay, bye. Anyway. Wait, 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 what do you think about your kin? I think it is very accurate from what little I googled, even though eight is three too many, but still, yay, heads. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Okay, Alex. Fun fact. You have never heard the actual Monster Mash. You've just heard a song about the Monster Mash. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Oh, oh, so because, oh, of Alex, right. because of Alex's cryptid nature, he was assigned to IDK, a Kraken, maybe. I actually had a really long uh, line of logic about this. But it was really... this was two weeks ago, so we don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> so... Transylvania it's fine. Voice. Okay, we got a Bro Dingles, who... Uh, it's just a big old pile of goop because bro's stressed. So, like, there was a call out post here, and there was a call out post on like the stream before you wrote this that was the exact same thing, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, bro's super stressed, so we're just gonna assign them stress monster kin. Like, okay. <laughs> well, I I'm just like, you really gotta point this that. man's stress I right now in front man. of like nearly a hundred people. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Proceeding. Uh, we've got Darby, who is a manticorn, because it's like a unicorn, but with a lion. <laughs> I'll grant your wishes and then tear you to pieces. <laughs> or probably just unravel a ball of yarn. That's probably more than what I would do. <laughs> I love I it. I thought that the manticorn was... It's adorable. It was glorious. It was I love glorious. It. Manticorn. Okay, so we've got a Jojo, who is both a wormling and a wormling. <laughs> <laughs> How did the skeleton know it was gonna rain? H how? Well, I guess. Held it in his bones. Oh, he read the weather forecast, you fucking idiot. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Yeah. No. Yep. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we Love you. <laughs> Love you too. We've got a Juno. Hello, my lady. Tips for Dora. <laughs> okay, nope, sorry. I okay, we are moving on. Uh well Gamer is a monster, so I mean I think we got it. You're got it down pat. <laughs> okay. Uh Jordan. <laughs> Thank you for Chimp. Chat <laughs> time to release the chimp chat he's been bringing in the chimp at every possible opportunity for weeks you now. just gotta you just gotta bring in the chip to bring in the money the baby we got almost 100 people here i had to okay. release the chimp almost 100 people <laughs> okay moving on uh we've got a queen creeps 
Hey, so I came here to hang out and spill the tea, but I see you guys have already done that, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because we're Americans! And she's finished! <laughs> 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 Wait, that's communism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, we've got a Scott. But, but I'm not... You're the hide-behind, Scott. I'm... You're the hide behind, Scott. Yeah. You're the okay. hide behind, Scott. You're the hide behind, Scott. I'll just be over here. Good. Out of out of view. <laughs> with the gamer. Yeah, silently stalking you. <laughs> uh, if there's a tree there, then you're a hide behind. Hide behind. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we've got Uprising, who is of course a Gorgon, because reptiles. I didn't assign this one, bro. Assign this one. It would be illegal to assign your own. It's kin true. You can't assign that. your own kin. Understand? We hit 103. Whoa, damn! Woo! That's Woo! exciting. Yeah! Welcome everybody. Thank you, everyone. I uh, guess we can't cancel. We can't. Also, <laughs> uh, hey, we have Split, who is the creature of the Black Lagoon. <laughs> I, I would love to hear the thought process on this one. Florida. Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's about what that's I expected. Literally, you just know what? That's totally actually, I had a little accurate. bit more because the is it really? How dare you? <laughs> I had a little bit more thought process on this too, though, because like the creature of the Black Lagoon always like is, you know, he yeah. crawls out of the swamp. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know uh -huh. if I can explain this good. So Thank Florida. <laughs> so Florida. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we gotta we gotta move on. As much as I love the banter of the introductions, we have an extremely packed show, so it is time for us to proceed. Uh speaking of the show, hey, welcome to Discord Murder Party. If this is your first time being on this stream, I'm sorry, you're gonna be so fucking lost lost. This is part one of a two-part season finale. This is not the final season, there is a season four, but hey, uh, season finale, wow. Um, we used to play a bunch of games, and now it's mostly just a lot of theater and stuff that we do, where a bunch of characters are all, like, rebelling against their author or something. It's cool. Also, there might be eldritch lore. There's a lot of eldritch lore. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so that's cool. Looking forward to that. Um, donations. So, normally what happens is when you guys submit uh, 2,000 bits or 20 American dollars, we spin this neat wheel. Oh, it doesn't even work, so I guess that's for the best. Um, <laughs> we spin a wheel and then we choose a cool improv option, but that doesn't matter right now because we're actually not doing wheel spins for the rest of season three because we have a ton that has to happen and we can't really, you know, we love your guys' suggestions, but we tend to get a little derailed by bears and things. Uh, however, we will be doing wheel spins and improv suggestions for Black Star's Thanksgiving, which is a silly art adventure thing we'll be doing, you know, around Thanksgiving. So if you want to purchase some wheel spins in advance for that or pay 20 American dollars by yourself to make demands for Black Star's Thanksgiving, you know, ruin Murder God's holiday more than it was already going to be ruined. Please, send, give us your money, give us all that you've got. Just fork it on over. Anyway, um, last but not least, before I take us on into the show, <clears throat> got a big ol' fat content warning. This stream may include themes of strong language, violence, descriptions, slash sudden loud noises of psychological and body horror, you know, just, just a lot of shit. That does not necessarily mean every episode will include those things, but viewer discretion is advised. Thank you. On that note, let's get started, shall we? Hey, uh, everybody okay? Ears and nose stop bleeding? <coughs> Alive. Yes. Okay? Debatable. <coughs> I'm here. I have been here. I've I've been <coughs> uh, I've been through a lot, but that was the worst pain I've ever felt. Mm -hmm. Well, better now at least. Yeah. By the way, what the fuck was that? I... I need to make sure you're all okay before I can get into that. 
Yeah, Junior, it's been an hour. I think we're fine now. Did uh, anyone else hear that that fucker say that he owned me? Yeah, yeah, trust me, that's a generally normal thing. Motherfucker, normal? Actually, that, that one's not normal. I, okay, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna go slow. Okay. I'm gonna go through this really carefully, but really quickly, but really carefully. Seriously, the moment any of you start feeling anything going wrong, you need to tell me to stop. But can you just stop stalling? This is important. We need the answers now. And I'm giving you answers, but you have to be patient with it, okay? I, I get it. I've been very dodgy, but there's a reason for that. I've seen so many people die, turn into complete piles of mush in front of me, and I didn't want to see that happen to any of you. Well, wait, wait, sorry, what? Like, piles of... Uh, that, that ain't normal, right? No, no, he's right. That checks out. It's about what Lottie told me. I just wanted to keep you safe. Hey, it's okay, Junior. Honestly, nothing could have prepared us for that. But the situation's changed, and we need to know what's going on. <sighs> okay. Where do you want me to start? Peekaboo, hi. Yeah, honey. Uh, so I've been coughing up black gunk and shit since the last scenario. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with this? Right. Uh... So, that's called star sickness. It happens whenever you have contact with the Black Star, and, uh, you probably have it because of whatever connection you have with that guy who was just here. I also have it. I have this whole time. I've just been trying not to bother anybody about it. Val, it's the same deal with you from what I gather, but yours is different for some reason. I I'm sorry, I really can't help you with it. Yes. Thank you. I'm realizing that. It appears to be my burden alone. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. No one else really seems to need to worry about it. Val is kind of an anomaly. I haven't gotten any worse, and I don't think Ezra will. I assume it works different here in the Void, despite all the Black Starsy stuff around. Alright, alright. Pause, pause. Just, how do you know all this crap? Black Stars? What? What, what the hell's a Black Star? Right. You don't know. Uh, so the people, to the people who were unaware, uh, hi, I'm an ex-cultist who used to follow Murder God. It's very complicated and I'm sorry. What? Listen, I know that was a loaded sentence, but it's ironically not the most loaded thing I'm about to tell you. So, let's start with the broad concept. Have you ever seen a black star? I mean, the star stars in the sky, not the gods. The answer is no, of course you've never seen a black star. The night sky is black itself. So you can't see a black star, not really. But they're always there, surrounding those little pinpricks of light. And pray you never see a true lightless night. A night blacker than void, and listen, dark, the greatest shadow you've ever seen stretching across the sky. That's what they want, the gods. They exist. Gods exist, and I know you know that we're being held here by one, but she's one of many. This is an entire pantheon. A pantheon? Yes, as in multiple gods. All the domains and things that come with pantheons and stuff. How many? Because I thought there were two of them. Then this one shows up and now you're implying there's more. Oh, there's more. Just in the Black Stars, there's five of them. Let me just... Okay, there's a reason I took the whiteboard out. and Not a whiteboard, it's a, it's a chalkboard. I. Okay, okay, so give me a second. Here's the sigil. There are five stars on it to represent, you know, five gods. These gods... I... You know how murder god needs suffering? They all need suffering, but more. She's a very small fish in a much bigger pond. So, she needs suffering in order to survive. That sounds like an addiction to me, to be honest. That's sympathizing with them, and it's really not a good idea. And it would be like saying humans are addicted to air. They're literally surrounded by it. Every universe where there is a black star, they are covered in suffering. 
there's four small ones, and then there's one big one. That's her, with a capital H. All right, so All right, who so, is this her, then? Yeah. I can't tell any of you that. You cannot know her name. No. Okay, that's a lot of crap. We can talk about Cthulhu without a problem. Haley, Cthulhu isn't real. I mean, our brains nearly melted just being in the same room with that guy. I learned her name and went blind for five days, and that's after a proper indoctrination. The person next to me also learned her name and died on the spot. I had to clean the viscera off of me while I was blind. It was not fun. Do we really want to fuck around and find out what happens? You don't. Thank you. So, her. The stars. First off, there was one big god who just really, really enjoyed suffering, and everything existed within her, and all life started with her. So, so you're talking about th the Big Bang, yes? I I sure, if you want to call it that. I uh, eventually, other gods started cropping up because she got uh, complacent, if you want me to be blunt about it. Like, entropy happened, sentient beings started believing in things. D to put it shortly, gods formed through happenstance. And then she noticed, and she was, well, she thought that was funny, and tried to kill all the other gods. And, you know, the other gods didn't like that, so they banded together and fought her. The only way to beat her was to split everything into different dimensions and universes, and they all worked together to seal her behind said universes. It was pretty dope, but it was probably pretty terrifying if you were there. Does anybody have any questions so far? Many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. plenty. A lot. I oh, figured. Okay, so... A god war? There was a god war. What about god of war? I mean, probably he was there too. I don't know everybody that was there. There are a lot of gods. Nice. So, that lady who keeps eating grace, was she uh, there? No, no, no. That's neither here nor now. We're never speaking about that again. Right, right, right. And, and no one's head is hurting. We're all fine. Yeah, I'm better. Fine. Yeah. 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 Yes. Before. Okay, cool. So let's continue. So she was stuck between dimensions and understandably was pretty not happy about that. But good news for her, I guess. She found some spots where the veil was a little thin. So she reaches through those holes in the various dimensions and that's how she and all the other Black Stars uh, are doing their thing now, which isn't great. So certain dimensions. So, so there are places where this doesn't affect us. Yeah, uh, but none of that matters to us, because we are specifically screwed. So is everyone else, if things go according to plan. And what exactly is this plan? I'll get to that. Uh, so, uh, she can only reach certain dimensions, but she's determined to fix that. So she's using her abilities to reach into said dimensions and make other black stars like her so they can, you know, spread the bad word. Hence, the four other stars in the sigil. So then, who was the one that burst in an hour ago? Was What was he the god of? That was... Baku. Okay, you're alive. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, God, I'm Ezra. feeling Ezra. something! Uh, Ezra? 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 We already heard his name. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Ezra! Oh, uh, Ezra. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That poor taste. I'm oh, fucking with you. Oh, that ain't right. Oh. That fucking time, kid. Just ain't right. You're right. Sorry. Please. Please don't do that. Okay. I'm trying to be thorough here and make sure you don't super die. Right. So Baku was the most intense scholar ever, and through his various experiments, he came to learn about the Black Stars. And instead of being horrified, he was super intrigued and kept looking into them and just got more and more absorbed into his studies, and gradually he warped into an inhuman monster. Take note of the inhuman monster thing. It's kind of a theme. Anyway, so he eventually dissolved into a swarm of rats. It was creepy, but hey, now he's got all these extra hands to do experiments and things with. She thought that was pretty useful, so she called him The Mind, and, uh, that's how that went. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> The Mind just said that he's the reason for my existence. Like, me specifically. What's up with that? Listen, if I had to guess, based on what I saw and what your mom said, 
Your mom was probably a cultist at some point. Given that she seemed pretty self-absorbed, no offense. No, she was the worst. Yeah, uh, anyway, so the thing with Black Stars cults is everything is supposed to be in service of her and the Black Stars. You do get cool powers and are treated as, as above humanity, but it does all need to go to the sky. And I'm gonna guess that wasn't really your mom's thing. So they probably kicked her out and I... I think Baku actually liked that a lot. This is getting into god politics, and I don't think I'm qualified to comment because it's new to me too, but e either way, it sounds like your mom stole some cult goo before she left and used it to make you. Ah! Yeah! Congrats, Ezra! Welcome to the club, you have superpowers. <laughs> well, putting god politics aside, um, speaking of superpowers, which to you all seem to be supernatural, I'm aware there are at least two other black stars that were pretty prevalent in my world. There's Cernos, of, of course, who I have unfortunate connections to, and then there's Kadath, who... Um, <laughs> Kadath didn't deserve any of that. Junior, you just said these gods don't deserve sympathy. Yeah, I did, but it's really hard to say that Kadath deserved any of that. Alright, cool, so there's some exceptions then, but what exactly makes him as such? Well, okay, so Percy, back when she was the only god, uh, you know, when random stuff was being created and destroyed within her, I, I mentioned this, well, uh, eventually through random happenstance, the first man was created. Unfortunately, Earth didn't exist yet, so he just kind of formed in the primordial sea and drowned. And she thought that was just adorable, and recreated him so he could drown again. And again. And again. And again. And she did that over and over and over again, until eventually he warped into a horrifying whale monster. And then she declared him to be her husband, gave him domain over the sea, and they became two parts of the world's worst power threesome. So we got the stars, the sea, the mind. Uh, what was this other one that Valencia mentioned? The, the deer guy, Cernos? Right, Cernos. Um, other part of that threesome. So Cernos, kind of the same deal. A little less tragic. I feel slightly less bad for him. Because at least he did something. He, he didn't do anything wrong, but he did at least get to make some sort of conscious choice. I... Ugh. So after Gadoth was a thing, eventually land formed within him. More humans formed, and these ones didn't drown immediately because there was land. So this first tribe is just getting the hang of things, and one of these men decided to wander around into the forest and explore. So he was curious. And she thought that was really arrogant of him to do, so she had the forest swallow him up and turn him into a horrifying deer monster. That also sounds a little bit excessive. <laughs> what you will learn about the Black Stars is that they're all a little bit excessive. She made him the land, and he symbolizes Earth, life, and also time, since life's kind of a show of that moving. Uh, his antlers are branching timelines, and he has a lot of them. Hence, you know, the antlers. Jesus, Junior. Hmm. That's a lot to take in. I mean... Kind of puts Lottie into perspective, doesn't it? I, I don't like being here, but I can at least be glad we're not stuck with the others. Yes, I'm very glad. Aha, uh -huh, and there you go. See y'all, I was always saying it. And honestly, by comparison, it shows you that Miss Aim, Miss Aim really ain't all that bad, you know? <sighs> what? Once I'm again, you are impressed by the bare minimum, Mr. Blackwood. Oh, oh, what, what we need to say, Park, is that not all that bad is still pretty bad. Uh, the best suck of the suck we could be in is still pretty suck. <sighs> right. Thank you, Haley. Uh, so Kadoth and Cernos are like murder gods, two stepdads that she has. I Sorry, it's a bit easier for me to treat them like a family unit. It, it makes things easier, but also a little... Weird. Anyway, they kind of tag team Cernos' life, so Kadoth is death. Cernos is time, so Kadoth is space. They have this yin yang thing going on. They, they work together. This is another common theme the gods working together. And assuming that the fifth one is murder god? Actually, no, that, that's not it. Uh, that's. Uh... <sighs> 
I think that. I think. Yeah, it, it, I yeah, think it's I called an ash. Do you any more calligraphy like that? But I, I ain't really seen a letter like that before. It, it's, it's. I, I think it's called an ash, guys. It, it's an A and E just smashed together. It, it's supposed to be pronounced elite. You know what? You don't need to know. Just say the name, Junior. Okay, fine. Alethius. All right, cool. That worked out better than I thought. The stasis thing is working. I don't know if there was a point in me hiding this information. Jesus Christ. Okay. But, but okay, so Alethius was this person from the future in desperate search of answers. So they hopped into a spaceship and sailed to the edge of the universe. There they met her, and instead of being horrified, as one should be, you will notice this is another common theme. They really wanted in on this whole Black Stars thing, and she th thought that was delightful. And that meant her little Baku had a playmate. So Baku's the smart boy with all the physical knowledge, and Alethius is a philosophy major. Alethius is the trolley problem, thinking about metaphysical truth, revealing what you are in the dark, you know, hence the revealer. Okay, great, great, awesome. What about Lottie? We still have her to, to cover. What the fuck is her deal? Uh, so, you know how I've been constantly referring to her as a literal baby? Mm hmm. Listen, Doc. I, I know it makes you angry, but I get mm -hmm. the impression you, I get the impression that you guys think I was joking about that. No, no, she is. Baku called her a fetus. She is a fetus. She is a baby. She is not a full god. Then why does she call herself Murder God and not her full name like the others? Because she doesn't have one. Yeah, she does. It's it's Lottie now. Just read. I appreciate it if you just stop calling her that. Personally, I'm not do that person. No. I just prefer Miss Sam. That's all I'm saying. Not you know, I that. used to be partial to ketchup gremlin. Look, all I'm sore like Jimmy. That's all I'm saying. Is that, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm just guys. I am just saying those are all fine and all acceptable, but none of those are her name because she does not have one. She hasn't ascended yet. The void is like an incubator for her until she gets there. She's fate. She's the arbiter of mankind's stories. She's supposed to work with Baku and Alethius. It's like a three fates kind of thing, but also not because she specifically is fate. It's more like they gather the information and she weaves it together. I see. So, like another triangle of sorts. Right. So the strings get woven together, they form stories, and the stories end badly because, you know, because we live in a universe ruled by horrifying gods that breathe suffering. Ah. Uh, <laughs> she can't that help it, can right. she? Well, I mean, all this awfulness is just in her nature, isn't it? Tell me, Junior, what's going to happen when she ascends? <laughs> okay, so first off, the sigil, it'll have always been six stars. None of us will remember it having five. That's some, oh. that's some serious quantum physics. Hmm. Because, that's you that. see, a black star ascending rewrites reality. Everything that you know now will not have existed just gone uh, but but wouldn't that mean that it has already happened and we wouldn't remember it otherwise it hasn't happened and it won't you are both simultaneously overthinking it and underthinking it the gods exist outside of time and space so even if right now you think this hasn't happened it will have happened it's quantum theory it's hard to explain it's yeah. it's like right now all your choices end in tragedy when she sends You'll no longer even have a choice. Even the illusion of choice you have right now will be gone. The entire concept of choosing something will be gone. You will be born, you will know exactly how much misery awaits you, and then eventually, you will die. That explains why we kill each other when we have the games. We just don't have a choice. It's like, so... we just know what's gonna happen. So, excuse me, that disaster is supposed to do all dead? But she's ass at running this joint! <laughs> and that is, in fact, what actually scares me about her. Oh. 
fuck. Wow. That's certainly a lot. <laughs> hey, everyone! Uh, sorry for uh, all of that. I understand things got a little fucky there, got a little bit scary, but I'm fine now, and hopefully you're all fine, so we can all just pretend that never happened, and you are all looking at me. They know. They know what? I told them, so, everything. What? Why, why would you do that? Why did you do that? You, you got slammed into a wall. What was I supposed to do? I, I don't know. Maybe don't tell them things that might make their heads explode. Heads explode? Heads explode? I'm sorry. Can we go back to the thing about how Apocalypse Lottie over here is going to rewrite the entire multiverse? Okay, yes, that's crazy and all, but one issue at a time, please. Um, Heads explode? I, okay, well, in case Junior didn't fucking clue you all in, your minds aren't compatible with Black Star's knowledge! Every little piece you get comes with a price, and for about 50% of humanity, that price is you dissolve into goo, or your head explodes! And no matter what option you get, your soul is just fucking ruined, and that doesn't stop when you die! No matter what happens, the only conclusion is unending agony! Alright, yeah, whatever, we're already in on ag unending agony, so... No! Uh... No! You are not! You think you are, but at least here you get breaks when the game isn't running. Once you leave, if this knowledge doesn't take, the pain never fucking stops, and it's ever-changing. You never adjust, you never get used to it, it just continues into infinity. But Junior isn't in on ending agony. Uh, yes, he's, he's the other 50%. If you survive the process, you warp. Your body adjusts, you start... <sighs> changing. Junior's warped enough that his body is literally built different than all of yours. Same goes for Ezra and Valencia. Built different, baby. Y yeah. <laughs> um, I suppose it's not that much of a surprise, though, is it? We three react differently in the presence of such knowledge, and... I mean, it's not as if the change only took a day for me. It was years, and Ezra is his exi entire existence. Yeah. And even if the changes take, it's not a permanent state. Here's the thing, with each progression, you're rolling the dice again and again. No matter what, you will always eventually fail and lose both your soul and your sanity. <laughs> I mean, granted our sanity is barely in check being around you, but observe, our heads are still intact. So... Yeah, because I'm literally made to interact with you fuckers. I wouldn't be able to make deals with you if you went mad at the sight of me. This whole void thing is built to not kill you while getting a story out of you. As I've said before, it's stasis. You're shielded from the whole Black Stars bullshit thing while you're here, so you're fine now. As soon as you leave, however, it's a coin's toss as to how much you'll remember. Sometimes you forget, sometimes you don't. It's basically whatever the worst option is. Given that we currently live in a multiverse that thrives on the worst options, what do you think happens to all of you? Hmm, I don't know. We go mad and kill each other repeatedly. Oh, wait, that's what's happening right now. The worst option is right now. No, there are definitely worse options. What part of you are actually in never unending, in unending agony do you know? Anyway, there are also options where everywhere is like this, not just the void. There are universes where the black stars are more in control and it is real bad, okay? I'm trying to do what I can to avoid one of those worse options. By entirely erasing the concept of choice? I, I don't... I don't want to do that. O okay, so you're not going to do that? Well, the plan was to try to make an outcome where that doesn't happen! Okay. This is the situation. How can we help? Uh, Yugo, weren't you listening? Did you not hear the part of, there will be no more choices? We don't have a choice in it. Yeah, I heard her. Look, it's clear she doesn't want any of this to happen. And if there's anything any of us can do to improve our chances, we should take it. I... I don't... I'm... I don't know, I'm kind of stuck on you learning things. I really hoped you wouldn't. Like, I was kind of hoping when I changed things, at least I wouldn't have to also juggle trying to make sure your heads don't explode. And uh, now you're all very aware of this and very unfortunate situation, and I'm... <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Not alone. Uh -huh. You're You're not alone. You don't have to do this by yourself. Mm-hmm. What? I... what? I mean... I don't know 
how, but I ran out of juice box. Wait, what's going on? Does he know? What? Know what? We keep big secrets. I am a great secret keeper. Know that we have to start the next game. I smell bullshit, sweetie. Don't smell. Oh wow, that uh, that's a big boy <laughs> word right there, little buddy. Um, I'm so proud. You know, actually, uh, it's funny. We were uh, we were actually just setting up for the next game right there. But. But the secrets... The <laughs> secrets are these paid scenarios that I have to get through before I figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do with my whole chaotic situation. So, uh, let's just, uh, take some time to relax and enjoy a nice cup of coffee, shall we? Ooh, I've never had coffee before. Oh, uh, well, well, we'll discuss that once we get to scenario one, Coffee Shop AU, suggested by Draco de Mortem. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Discord Mocha Party, a lovely little cafe tucked in the heart of the void. Behold our cute little tables and chairs arranged under warm lighting, perfect for private conversations with just a hint of spice. But that's a chapter 8 problem. The requisite jazz plays from a small band of shadows in the corner. Don't worry about them and also don't look directly at them if you know what's good for you. I promise we'll all get out of here before the poetry slam, so don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Of course, this particular ambiance has a certain tension to it. A slow burn, if you will. A strange connection between patrons. Maybe some of you will start out bitter enemies before slowly adding the cream of banter and longing looks. Maybe that booth over there is the perfect place for you to drop your tragic backstory while you stare out at the rain. Yes, I know, we all technically know your backstories, but this is an AU! Anything is possible! Anyway, enough set dressing. Let's take a look at the menu. We've got coffee, tea, lattes, Americanos, frappuccinos, except not frappuccinos because that specific term is copyrighted, so they're murder frappes. It's fine. All of this will be prepared by our lovely baristas. Say hello, Junior and Ezra. Uh, oh. Huh? Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> at least she made me the manager this time. Oh, this so. is pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are gonna do just great. Right, so uh, everyone get in line. Uh, here, Thorin, you go first. You get a nice hot chocolate. Uh, but I wanted coffee. <laughs> I know, sweetie, but uh, oh look, it's your best princess friend, Valencia. Oh. Here to spread, oh. spend exclusive. Oh my god, exclusive. <laughs> She's here to spend time with you. So much time. Oh, with you. really? My friend. Oh, uh, yes. Here I am. Yes. In line. Yes, so, uh, of course, right after Thorin, I will go as the local Karen. But after that, let me go down the list here. Uh, so, Grace, you will be next. Uh, then uh, Haley, yeah. Percy, uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, we've, we've got Tommy, Valencia, Vincent, Hugo, and Hello. Stephen Cutter. Oh, oh, hell no! Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, um, okay. Hello, why is everyone staring at me like that? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you say what am I doing here? I am getting coffee. I would presume, like all the rest of you, uh, do you all not go to St. Osborne's University a few streets down? Or not typically? No. I've never seen this man in my life. Oh, for goodness sake! Come on, guys. Coming in here like you think you own the place and harassing other customers? Now, why don't you just step back a bit and let this nice, innocent man enjoy his nice, innocent coffee, okay? Um, yes, thank you. I will do that over here. Enjoy the rest of your coffees. Go right ahead. Yeah, sure, okay. Well, I hope you all can relax. Uh, anyway, right, we're set, everyone's set, everyone's lined. Okay, great. I'm gonna get a fucking latte and take some, uh, thinking time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Discord Mocha Party, a chill coffee shop with friends where nothing bad happens, hopefully. Also known as the number one trending coffee shop in the Void Michelin catalog. I'm your manager, Junior, last name, and this is my co-barista, Ezra Crane. Junior, what the fuck? Enjoy your coffee! Yo, Ezra, can you hold down the fort for a few minutes? I'm gonna go check on Murder God. She's kinda offish right now. Junior, I've never worked a day of retail in my entire fucking life. It will be fine. I will only take a few minutes. 
Gazebo time! Gazebo time? Help! Oh, yeah! Oh, I got yes! No, 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 no! Back off! I'm trying to get my latte! <laughs> All right, let's go. Lottie can have her little latte after the meeting. What? <laughs> no, you don't get to decide that! It's my scenario! Percy? All right. No, no, it's all right. Don't worry. Here, uh, you know what? You can have this scone here as a consolation. Uh, no, 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 uh, uh, no, no. The scone, no scone until she talks stuff out. And Ezra, don't you pour her anything until she gets back. Well, she wants a latte. No, no, now, no. Now, Lottie, do we gotta drag you again? What? what? No, fuck off! I didn't even put the gazebo on the fucking coffee shop, so we can't have gazebo oh. time. Uh... Hmm. Huh. Neat. What? Uh, turn, turn around. I mean, okay, sure. What? Ah! What the fuck is the gazebo standing outside the window for? I didn't even bother with scenery outside the window. It's supposed to just be the fucking void. Well, now it's the void and also the gazebo. I guess it's fate, fate. So let's get to it. <sighs> Fine, fuck it, let's go. Okay, what what the fuck do you people want? So, now everyone knows your ordeal. Yeah, great, thanks for that. You weren't exactly gonna tell us yourself, so Junior had to let us, had to let us know why we got the ear infection to end all ear infections. You know, among other things. Yeah, great. W would you believe me if I said, you know, perhaps I didn't want to talk about it? No, no, I believe you 100%. I didn't want to talk about it either. But then things got out of hand, so now here we are. All right, all right. But look, look, let's uh, let's back up here a moment. Here to talk to Miss M. Uh, not exactly crowd around here like a like a bunch of crazies, you know. Yeah, let's give her some room to breathe. Right. So everyone can fuck right. Uh, uh oh, you're you're being nice. Right. <sighs> Sorry. It's all right. Take your time. I well. Obviously, part of it was I wanted to, well, I know it sounds dumb, but I wanted to protect you all. Even back when things were different, you were my souls, mine to grant wishes to and create worlds for and try this whole different thing with and hurt also. That, that, just last part, that last part just makes you a yandere. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that way anymore. You're all people with thoughts and feelings, and even if it doesn't matter to a god, it matters to you. I, I get it, I get it. Ben, it's okay. <laughs> we know. Just relax. No, no, you, you don't get it, Percy. You're people, and I don't want you, want you all to be in worse pain when you get out. Your endings were already set to be bitter at best, and I wanted to keep you from that, but now I just... I don't want you to get more hurt when you leave. I don't want you going insane or warping into monsters or... I fucked your souls up enough. The last thing I want to do is for you to leave and immediately condemn you to an even worse eternity. Well, uh, that sure is a pickle. Yep. So I tried to keep quiet, which was stupid, because this is the void and bad news always comes out. And then fucking Baku showed up and I thought maybe things would be different. Maybe I could beat him, but of course I couldn't because I never can because I can't fucking do anything right. Go fucking figure. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna stop you right there. Calling yourself stupid and sulking about it isn't gonna help. Did you know you were gonna get your god ass handed to you by a rat? Nobody knew you was gonna get your god ass handed to you by a rat. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. I should have known. That's how it always goes. I'm never doing my job right. I'm never enough. I'm going too slow, I'm emoting too much, I'm getting too attached, I'm not following the book. If I just do things right, I'd stop getting hurt, but I just can't. I thought if I didn't say it, maybe it wouldn't come true. But no matter what I do, there's no changing the ending. But you said you don't exactly want to do that now, right? Do you? Well, in case you haven't noticed, Percy, we live in a universe where want means jack shit. I wanted to do good. I may have to take souls, but I thought at least while I was here, I could I could make that suffering worth it. I could grant wishes, but well, you already know that doesn't work out. I quickly realized I couldn't tell anything but tragedies and I just, I gave up. I had to. But you haven't given up. You've done so well to this point and, and we haven't given up on you either. I... Listen, it's... it's different for you. I thought the tragedy problem was a human thing, but... 
humans, as it turns out, can change. Me? I'm not a human. That's all there is to it. Okay, so apparently you were a huge dick to the others before, but it seems like you were, you know, less of a dick to me and Jock Jock. Like, you know, we still got killed and stuff, but like, it's a far cry from whatever the others went through. Listen, we get it. You're a god and all that, but you do a lot of things that gods aren't supposed to do. Yeah, wow, thanks. I am indeed terrible at being a god. I wouldn't necessarily say you're bad at it. You're just, you know, different. Not everybody has to be the exact same, otherwise we'd be a heck of a lot more boring. <laughs> Tell that to the Black Stars. But, I don't know, I, I did actually kind of like helping you, Haley. Ezra too. I wasn't supposed to, but it, it felt nice. I wish I were able to do that more often. Okay, consider just a thought. You could do more of that and, like, not kill people? I tried! I really did try! I tried not taking souls. I tried going whole episodes without anyone dying, but it was... It was too hard. It, it hurt too much, and eventually it was like instinct took over and I just couldn't... What does it feel like? I'm... I'm not sure I can explain it. It's not really a mortal feeling. There's this... It's like... A hole. Right here in my chest. And it's always tugging. Like every nerve is connected to it and they're constantly being pulled taut. When someone gets hurt, it's like... This jolt of pleasure runs through it down to my toes. It's amazing, and for an instant, everything is okay. But aside from that, the pull is just constant. And the longer I go without that jolt, the strings just get tighter and tighter until every nerve ending is shredding open. It's a constant burn, but it's still sharp and cold, and then it just snaps, and everything goes black, and my hands work on their own, and... Someone gets hurt. Someone always gets hurt. I'm sorry. I, I know we've talked about it. I've only experienced a little of what it's like, and even that was torture, so... God, I'm so sorry. But maybe... I don't know, you said this time you were trying things differently with all of us, so that's that's something that's different. You were good to Haley and to Ezra, and things didn't completely fall apart, so maybe it's worth a shot to keep going? Maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe you're trying too hard. Change... Change comes slowly. And only when we put the effort into it. Just know that your efforts aren't unseen. And that it means a lot that you're trying your hardest to do what's right by us. I know it's hard, but... Sometimes we have to do what's difficult to help the people we care about. So... Thank you. Thank you for trying. I mean, I, I haven't really done much of the trying part yet. Sounds like you have a lot more faith in me than you should. Like, I'm pretty sure I can't just... I don't know, does it count as an addiction if you need it to survive? Yes. <sighs> to, to be fair, I, I don't exactly imagine that an addiction like this is, well, the easiest thing to break out of. Uh, it's like Mr. Nandez said, it's it's things like these that take... it's They take a lot of time... And a heck of a lot of patience. <laughs> well, we don't have a lot of that, unfortunately. I don't know where I'd even start. Hmm. Well, why don't you start by, you know, saying sorry to the folks that you hurt, perhaps? I don't really see that working out great. Oh, okay, so you apologized to me, and I accepted, but I guess I'm not that hard to please. But... You also apologized to Vincent, and that went... okay. Not the greatest moment of all time, but far from the worst. You have no idea how these things could go. I... I guess... Okay, let's be real. You hurt him real bad, and yeah, they probably don't... they probably won't forgive you. But you should still keep going and try to be better, yeah? Like, regardless of what they say after you apologize, it's... It ain't an easy climb. It doesn't happen in an instant. And uh, you are uh, you are in it deep, MG. Yes, Anybody can you. see that. But trying to turn it around, well, even if the people you hurt don't believe you can, 
All that matters is whether you think you can. You feel me? You better feel me. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I try, maybe I can at least get to thinking I can change. Maybe. <laughs> Regardless of how it goes, it's brave of you to own up to what's happened. And it's good that you want to do better by those you've hurt. What matters is that you're trying. It shows that you've grown and that you're willing to change. You've got this. Such optimism. Well, uh, I guess I'll... Whew. Okay, well, for what it's worth, Gazebo Rangers, I'm sorry for hurting you all and being mean and uh, dragging you into all this. <laughs> I always hoped this day would come. <laughs> well, you're giving it a shot at me. Good on you. It don't happen overnight. It really doesn't. And you're taking the first couple steps. Proud of you. Thank you, Emmy. That was really beautiful. Uh, sure. Uh, thank you for taking it. Well, uh, um, hmm. Maybe I can do this. Who's next? Well, <clears throat> um, uh, how about, uh, how about Mr. Gwendolyn? Uh, not to bring up bad times, but there was that moment when, you know, you cut him up real bad like some kind of co combine harvester. I don't... Wait. Oh. Yeah. Right. Shit. Mm. I did do that. Mm. Oh god, the list of shit I've done is so long. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll... Can I please have that coffee now while I think this over? Yeah, you're gonna go apologize to people, right? Yes! I just need to think over how the fuck I begin to apologize for covering a man with paper cuts! Understandable. Here's your scone, and your coffee will be ready in just a minute, ma'am. Have a great day. Junior? Junior, please come back. Please come back. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm making drinks here, and I don't really know what I'm- Oh, hi. Never mind. Hey. Junior. Can I ask you a question? Sure. So... With the, um... The head exploding thing. Mm hmm was that legit? Like, did someone's head really explode when they only learned a name? Yeah, the person next to me just exploded, and then I went blind. I had no idea if my eyesight would ever come back. You know how when people are normally blind, they can at least tell movement is happening? I was stuck in complete darkness for five days. It was very disorienting, and I could have been like that forever for all I knew. But yes, their head exploded, but they didn't die. Really. Their soul was stuck in unending agony and their body writhed until we made it so it couldn't happen anymore. It alleviated nothing for them. But it got the body out of the way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, um... So, is this what retail is like? Yeah. Are you Are you asking if retail is like, you know, this? Or if it's like your head blowing up while you experience unending agony? I'm trying to generate small talk to avoid getting into the discussion of what we just learned, because once I start talking about that, I'm not going to be able to stop talking about it, because it's honestly a really pressing matter. Anyway, uh, what did you do in the Black Stars? Ezra, that is the opposite of changing the subject. Okay, then, smart guy, where are you from? I'm from Georgia, actually. Crazy, right? No accent? Don't know how that works. Great. Um, I was in the suburbs. I, uh... <sighs> I, I went around doing a lot of a lot of ch charity work. That was a thing that I did okay. with with the Black Stars, right? Okay. Right. Um. So <sighs> yeah, my life's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, what all did you do in the Black Stars? Uh, uh, okay, right, fine, fine, fine. So. I, uh, did some hitman stuff. Wow. Just, mm, I accidentally killed a man. Okay? okay? And then I killed a lot of people in Georgia. A lot of people? Yes. Okay. Um, in suburban Georgia. In you killed a lot of people. Yes, in a suburban Georgia, I killed a lot of people. How many... From, like, a scale of, like, one person to a lot of people. 
What's the range of how many people you killed? I have the exact number. It is 19. Why Why do you... In suburban oh. Georgia. In suburban... Yes, in suburban Georgia, Ezra. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, uh, <laughs> so, news. Um, you're a BuzzFeed Unsolved episode? I I'm a what? Uh, a, a show where they cover mysteries and things. It's on the History Channel. You are a BuzzFeed Unsolved episode of a serial killer that, you know, was never caught. I, I technically wasn't caught. I don't, um, what? Oh, God. Okay, you're, this is my legacy. You're the, you're the grace killer. God, I haven't heard yeah. that name in a long time. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit, you're the great. Mm. Who all knows? Uh, what? Who, who, who all knows? I was just about to yell that out. Jesus, fuck. Who, who uh, all knows? Everyone who was here before Valencia knows. Um, so that would be Vincent, uh, Grace, the Doc, Tommy, Percy, Christine. Clearly, no. Wait, she's not here anymore. I. Uh, Christine. Yeah. Like Chris, Christine. Christine Forks? Yeah. How do you know Christine Forks? She. She said she killed the Grace Killer. Well, she said. I. Wait. Wait a minute. She said. She said. And she. Before. she She's alive? She went back. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess obviously. Um, um but you're still here. Yeah, you, you're I. You're still here. I am still here, but she, she disappeared. She just, she just stopped being here. And and Murder God said she wasn't doing well. And I, I guess, I guess she's not. You know, because how could you? But she, <laughs> she went back. <laughs> oh. I, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how that's possible. If she were here in the games, <laughs> how did she get out? Is that does that mean that we can get out too? Like, uh, I mean, I guess, I guess. I mean, yeah, we can. Sorry, that's a, that's, that's a thing I've known for a while. But like, oh god, oh god, I. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I, it, no, I'm, I'm 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 sorry. I sometimes I get really excited about things, and then I just start talking about things, and then next thing you know, you just you kind of open up holes. <laughs> um, sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. No. Well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh God. Oh. Hey, uh, this is going to seem kind of out of left field, but hmm. uh, if it goes for anything, I I don't really care that you were a serial killer. I don't feel weird about it. Um, uh, that's a sentence. Is that weird to say? <laughs> I mean, a little bit? A little oh, bit? Oh. No, no, I thought so. Uh, I, I just... The world, in my time, just sucks. Like, really, really bad. It's so bad that I literally do not care that you're a serial killer. Oh. Um, I guess my, my mind is kind of turned towards other things, like the inevitable loss of choice I guess the end of the world you know the rapture and there will be signs and sun and moon and stars and on the earth distress of nations and perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world for the powers of the heaven will be shaken you know? Luke 21 yeah I was never religious but the doctor always had me studying well everything 
did they have you do that in the Black Stars? Uh, no, actually. Why do I have that? Huh. Well, I'm kind of not surprised that the world is ending would be from supernatural causes, but I just wish it wasn't so soon. <laughs> not to be a jerk, but you wouldn't even notice. Suddenly everything would have always been that way. That's the tiny amount of mercy we get, I guess. Yeah, but I notice it now. Sure, I, I won't know when it happens, but I notice it now, and I know that it's going to happen. You know? Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I guess I just don't think much about the present. Or your past. I mean, shit. Other than, you know, murder. <laughs> what else did you do in the Black Stars? You know, you got charity, murder... Matter of fact, fuck it, not, not even the Black Stars. What did you do? Hobbies? Goals? I like to listen to music a lot. Yeah, so do seven billion other people. <laughs> but what did Junior, before all of this, and I and I mean all of it, Black Stars included, what did you like to do? I, uh, I liked to, to um, uh, <laughs> Uh, 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 right, right. Oh, shoot. Uh, Haley's drink. She wanted soy milk, not whole. I, I have to make this drink again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I finished Hugo's drink like two minutes ago. I should have given it to him. Oh! Hi, Hugo. How long have you been standing there? Uh, a while. Yeah, I, uh, I heard the whole thing. You heard the whole thing? Yeah, that's, uh... Whew. That's a lot to take in, Junior. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, no, no, it's okay. I, uh... I, I, I just don't know what to say. Well, a hello would have been nice a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, you're right. I should have said something. Uh, my apologies. Uh, it's okay, you were just waiting for your drink. Uh, talking about it right now is probably a bad idea. Well, I, I mean, we're here. So, I guess, uh... I, are you okay? What? Well, I mean, it sounds like this has been torturing you. <laughs> that doesn't matter, though. It, it doesn't matter if it's torturing me. It's not hurting anyone else. Uh, I, I deserve it. Bullshit! Um, what? No, no, he's right. You you don't deserve to suffer. Uh, fucking ditto! Dude, sure, you did some shit. But you've answered for that. You sold your soul for that. You've paid. You've learned. Christine isn't the only one that needs to move on, Junior. Do I deserve to move on? Look, it sounds like your past is something that haunts you. And you're doing your best to make up for it. But when I see you, all I see is a good person. A friend. Repenting doesn't have to be religious, Junior. You gotta learn to forgive and love yourself. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven. But dwelling on it separates close friends. That's Proverbs 17. Mm -hmm. Maybe take a 10 for now. I think I can probably hold the fort down here. I've but gotten into the shake of things. Drink. Yeah, I, I, can, I... I can make it with soy milk this time. Okay. Oh, and you go. Here's your drink. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, look, Junior, the, the past is the past. But know that here and now, you are loved and you're part of this family. And you deserve to let yourself move forward. And we're going to be there with you every step of the way. Right, uh, family. Now, if you don't mind me, you two are now holding up the line. Oh, 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 no, no problem. Uh, I, I, I guess I'll get going then. Bye but, bye, guys. But there's no line. I'm giving really. you five seconds for. You, you can't do that. Four. I'm the man. Ah, stop fine! 
and click. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Discord Mocha Party, a chill coffee shop with friends where nothing bad happens. Hopefully. Also known as the number one trending coffee shop in the Void Michelin catalog. I'm your man. Oh, Junior, stop. Go sit down. Go somewhere else. Ah, black bitter coffee, a perfect representation of my inner struggles. <laughs> uh, Junior would have liked that. <laughs> So you're talking to yourself now, huh? <laughs> Finny, just Yeah, hi. No. Uh yeah. So are you gonna calm down at all or uh do you it's not like... want an Irish it's coffee as well? I'm in position to be calm right now. Listen, listen, listen. You see this uh this bottle of whiskey I got here? Yeah, uh There you go. Come sit down did... with me. Did you just put whiskey in my coffee? Yes I did. And I know you're happy about it. Now let's go. Oh, I hate when you're right. Yeah, I tend to be. Oh, hey. Percy! You too! Oh. Get over here, you oh. fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, sorry, Mr. Rita. And what's going on over here? You two are sitting down, and... Look, so you chuckle fucks want to make a... a better connection here want to make friends and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna do this my way since your ways don't seem to really work all that well and that is with food drink alcohol insults and life stories so tell me about yourselves uh, my, my, myself yes uh, yourself okay uh after you after uh, well, uh, um, uh, uh, the beginning, uh, the beginning is always a good start. Um, good well, start as you know, I was, yeah, I was born in Scotland in 1923 and my father had moved from London a few years prior for <clears throat> reasons and he met my mother. Oh, okay, Grace, <laughs> Grace, stop right there. Uh, I don't, I don't exactly want to hear about your conception. I want, you know, key memories. Stuff from, from your childhood, teens, whatever. I, I was. We're, we're here to get to know each other. I mean, I was interested. Uh, okay, uh, my teen years. Uh, what can I say? They were monotonous. <laughs> it was mostly studying, sleeping, more studying, more studying, mm -hmm. loss of sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, but there was. There was that one time. Yeah, yeah, when I was 14. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, it was in the summer, or in this case, one of the rare times you can actually go outside in London and not get wet. So Graham took me to run some errands, and then we went to St. James's... Yeah, I can type or talk. <laughs> we went to St. James's Park to have lunch. I'm just going to sip this coffee. <clears throat> so yeah. we hadn't even sat down for five minutes. And guess what happened? What happened? A goose! A goose trotted over and stole my sandwich. So did you know what I did? Would love to hear it. Oh, well, I will tell you. I wrangled the cheeky blighter by the neck and threw him away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, what? Wait, wait, you just kind of grabbed him? Yeah, by the neck. <laughs> Grace, why would you... What? <laughs> you see, I vaguely remembered my mum telling me that if a goose chases you... And you just have to ramble it by the neck and throw it as far as you can. So that's what I did. Fuck yeah. That's what you do. You d Fucker stole her sandwich. Grab him. Yeah, I threw it into a lake and... Uh, What's he going to do? Well, it's a fucking Graham goose. Very... Yeah, Graham wasn't uh, very happy about that. I got shouted at a bit. But I got my sandwich back in the end. So well, that was the main thing. I, I mean, that's the fucking goal, isn't it? Victory. You won. Victory. Grace one, goose fucking zero. Grace, what? That that goose, I mean, what? Come on, what did it ever do to you? Percy, I feel like you've just missed the point of the whole story. It stole my sandwich. It's you know, a justice, goose, Grace. I, I... I don't... <laughs> my, my eye's just fine, thank you. Oh my <laughs> That's god. That's not what I... Never mind. <sighs> Percy, come on, you're next. You hit me something. <clears throat> Uh, oh, gosh, uh, God, where do I even start? Uh, oh, um, 
Well, uh, you know, I tend to shrug off a lot around these, uh, a lot of, through a lot of these games. Well, when I was little, uh, I remember getting hurt a lot. Uh, there was this one time, I remember I was climbing up this tree in the back of the ranch, uh, really just to prove to myself that I could, no, nothing really more than that. And next thing I know, I remember I could feel the darn thing shaking. Riley was down below with a hatchet and, well, <laughs> before I could tell her to stop, the tree had already started falling. Bumped my noggin and sprained both my arms, I did. Good times You were fucking cut down a tree that you were climbing in? Oh yeah, I think she was trying to get some stuff from Ma and Pa, but uh, I guess she didn't realize I was uh, I was up at the tallest part. <laughs> Your sister concerns me. I mean, she's family. <laughs> yeah, and you just fucking hit your head, that's it? You didn't, like, crack it open or anything? I mean, not really. Got a bit of a bump there, but like I said, I'm made of tougher stuff. I oh, mean... So much. What's the... Nothing else that could really happen, you know? Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah. There, there's, there's something we would call you back in the, back in the old core, and that is dumb but durable. Listen, would have been world, a hero. <laughs> listen, the whole world could fall down in the sky and hit me right on the head, and I'd be fine right about now. I'll take your word for that. Um, well, what about you, Vinny? Uh, well, let me let me think about it. Let me see if there's like something I haven't already shared by this point. But mm -hmm. uh, oh, I can tell you what I used to do before. The unpleasantness uh -huh. uh, is while I was down in Virginia, me and Abigail, we had a little, you know, homestead of our own. But just down the road, I would help as a farmhand for the for the local ranches and whatnot. Hey. Enough to enough to make a, a decent living, all that kind of stuff. Plus, for I don't fucking know why, but for some fucking reason, animals seem to love me because they just do whatever I say. <laughs> horses sheep dogs fucking snakes at some point it doesn't matter they all seem to kind of like me a real snake charmer <laughs> well you would have gotten, you would have gotten long right straight well with my sister is that what she's like listen i, I tell you she's she's the, basically the exact same only instead of charming them she scares them half to death Oh, hey, fuck. There's the ball. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. You good there, Percy? Because that... Oh, yeah. I think my... I think I have a few delayed reactions here and there. Give it a moment. I guess we're good. <laughs> and there he goes. Sinking. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I have half a fucking mind to believe that you did that just to make her laugh. <laughs> Come on, get up off the floor. And what if I did? What if I did? <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare that we actually get to see Smile. We got ice if you need it. No reason. I fucking beamed him. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. I I thought that one was mine. They all, they all look so similar. No, oh, no problem. Uh, these are from my table. But wait, Stephen, right? Uh, yes, Stephen with uh, with a P H. They write it wrong on my cup here all the time. But yes, uh, it's it's a pleasure to meet you, Mister. Uh. You go. Yeah, we've met before. You know, when you killed me. Mm, uh, forgive me, was that an open acting workshop back at St. Osborne's? I don't remember seeing your face there. Oh, no, 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 it was real. At a haunted house. There was a pit of spikes. Ah, okay, okay, that that would explain it. I, I worked at several haunted houses last season. The kids loved them. So you don't remember... Well, I must have seen your face around somewhere or another. Uh, maybe that was why I felt this need to talk to you. That or the fact that you were one of the only people in here not 
giving me a death glare or muttering, oh great, it's you for the crime of getting a murder frappe. But as for being in the same social circles, I swear, I, I, I cannot remember any. All but... right, Stevie Stepford, I got a bone to pick with you. Um, is this, is this a friend of yours? Yeah, yeah, this is Haley. You know, uh, the girl you threw into a saw? Yeah, you know, when my entire small intestine got turned inside out, nobody's supposed to see their own entrails, but I had to see, but I had to see my own entrails because you sawed me in half. I'm not sure if either of you have noticed, but you are both clearly alive and in one piece. Oh my god. I, I mean, I guess you're right. Uh, we, we, honestly, we've all pretty much killed each other at least once. Uh, Haley, I don't know, maybe he was just doing what he had to? Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. But like, that much? With buzzsaws? That was, that was gratuitous, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, that really was awful. And... I'm sorry you had to go through that, Haley. Although, at the time, wasn't Ezra working with Steven? And he's he's better now. I don't know, maybe... Maybe there's some hope for Steven. Sure, sure, yeah, I, I'd love to think that, yeah, but, you know, you know I, I like to think the best of people, but part of, part of being better is recognizing you've done something wrong. You, you, hear, this, you hear this man recognizing he's something wrong? <clears throat> no. Clearly... I am in the middle of something between you two. No, wait, sorry, hang on. You, da, 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 da. literally everybody else in here. I'll, I'll get out of your way then. No, 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 no wait, hold on. Uh, please, please don't follow me. I just want to enjoy my murder cafe in peace. Thank you. Okay, that, uh, that, that was weird, wasn't it? I mean, does he not remember what happened? See, everything should point to yeah, because according to you guys, he, he showed up a bunch now, but from from the looks of things, he doesn't. He ain't following the pattern of everything else. There's something else going on here. Something, I don't know, almost sinister. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel right. I, I don't know what to make of it. I think we're just going to have to keep our eyes on him. Hello, yeah, at the very least... I'm pretty sure he ain't gonna do jack squat in a coffee shop unless he <laughs> pulls out a machete or something and starts shanking everybody he meets, but I doubt it. This, this ain't the place. Yeah, I agree. Are you okay at least? <sighs> I'm doing okay, Sunshine. I, I'm sorry. I I lost my temper a bit there. That was... <sighs> that was a little out of line for me. But, but you know, go, go on. Those, uh, those drinks ain't gonna be hot forever. All oh, right, uh, I guess I'm going to get these over to the others. Sunshine, I like that. <laughs> I'll see you later, Haley. All right. We like to think of Discord Mocha Party as a place where people come to relax. As such, dear patrons, take a moment to breathe in. And then release. <laughs> you said release! <laughs> Why did I fucking hire them? Why, why did I do this? Why do I- Murder do God! Ah! We need to talk. What is with you people and not at least, I don't know, picking some less anxiety-inducing phrasing? Nobody likes, we need to talk. Nobody. Why do you people do this to yourselves? And to me! Oh, pardon me. We must discuss an urgently important matter on the state with no delays. We're all clear. Yes, okay, the bit is done. What can I do for you, princess? Well, I know that you know things have been quite bad recently for me. Like, as in physically. I'm coughing up goo, and my magic has been quite strange, and uh, I nearly died when that rat showed up. Yes, yes, correct. These are all things that have happened. What part of things that have been bad do you not understand? I know you truly have feelings. Please, explain to me what's going on. Junior won't, and I don't know who else to ask. I, um, gods, I'm, I'm not really what, sure what to say here. Like, yes, obviously I'm aware of what's been happening to you. I'm not blind. And then why haven't you said anything or, or done anything to get help? I'm suffering and you're blatantly ignoring me. <laughs> oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, shh, take a minute. Deep breaths. There we go. Uh, here, here. 
Handkerchief. Here, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Can you breathe? Uh, I, I guess just nod if talking is hard. <laughs> Please, explain. I, I can't. That's the problem. I don't know what's going on with you. Obviously, you've had prior Black Star's exposure. You, you read the book, right? Yes. I skimmed one of my father's texts once and it gave me a brutal headache. I don't quite know much more until very recently. Yeah, well, uh, that's, that's for the best. That book, it, it really shouldn't be enough to give you star sickness. Junior having it, that makes sense. Ezra having it, well, he's been exposed since birth. Neither of their cases have progressed. Everything here is in stasis. Right, so it shouldn't matter if they learn anything more now, because they're in stasis and won't get hurt theoretically. But why am I not in stasis? I... I don't know. Aren't you supposed to be a god? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, very little is currently in my control. My endless life is a comedy of errors. Right, of course. You control very little except for our souls. <laughs> Alright, you know that's not true. If I controlled your souls, do you really think I'd put up with Vinny's shit? <laughs> Plus, I suppose. you know I could put you in a nicer dress, show off that rockin' bod a bit more. Uh, uh, pardon? Anyway, uh, well, I I've been thinking, and I can offer a theory, but that's all I've got. I would take any help you have to offer. Alright, so this started around when you started tapping into your magic, right? Your magic get got more volatile, but that's also what started triggering your cough. That's correct. I wanted a campfire, and it created a horrible, fiery vortex of doom! Right, exactly. So, where does your magic come from normally? Because magic's more of a problem thing than it is, say, you know, World War I era West Virginia. Magic is genetic, like the ability to roll one's tongue. I believe my fire and light comes from my mother, so usually I use it, I tap down into a part of myself. It's fairly unconscious, you know? Right, but you're not only getting magic from your mother's side. Your father is also a part of you. Ugh. Sorry, rough subject. But anyway, his magic, and really anything that's based in his, uh, beliefs, would be tied to the Black Stars. So whenever you use your magic, you're pulling from one well, but the other one's in there, and they're pretty close together. They're both you. And I figure the one from your father's side is probably a bit stronger given where you are now. I would imagine so, yes. I suppose that makes sense. And it's also why Junior told me to stop using my magic so much. If he knew. It's hard not to ma use my magic, you know? Given... Given our scenarios. Yeah, which is unfortunate because uh, anytime you use magic right now, I think you're tapping into Black Star stuff. And possibly even the void around you. That connection's gotten really strong. I would have warned you, but honestly, I wasn't aware this was something that could even happen. Cernos doesn't exactly love, it, love me rolling in on his turf. Oh, great. That's wonderful news. I sure am glad to be a landmark case. Congrats, you're Eldritch Medical Famous! Uh, yay. Maybe I should write a book about this. Oh, please do. I'd love to workshop it with you. <laughs> we'll see about that. So, what can I actually do to stop it from, from getting worse? Uh, good question. I guess the first suggestion would be to stop using your magic, which I'm aware is pretty upsetting, given how integral it is for you. I know that's like asking you to stop being you. Hmm. Well, uh, maybe that's not the only answer. This is happening because you're unconsciously tapping into that connection to the Black Stars. So, maybe you should work on creating other connections? I know it sounds uh, kind of cheesy, but the most powerful thing that you humans have is your connections with each other. That's all a good story is. It's, it's connections. If you can connect one, you know, more to the good around you and in you, maybe that'll help. Right. Cheesy as it is, I understand how it would help. Instead of drawing water from the corrupted well, we can reinforce a new well, the well that's already there. Hmm. I think that's a good idea. Thank you, Metagod. You can... 
You can call me Charlotte, I guess. <laughs> Charlotte. That's a beautiful name for you. And I'm sorry I was rude to you when I first approached. I mean, uh, I, I tortured you for eons and then ignored your weird soul problems for a significant amount of time. I think you have a right to be rude. Hey, uh, I'm... Sorry. You know, for torturing you for eons and hiding your problems and generally trying to, like, manipulate you and... Oh, gods, the more I say it, the worse it sounds. Anyway, I'm... Sorry for how I treated you. Doesn't matter if it was my job, doesn't matter that I'm a god, doesn't change the fact that it all sucked for you. So, uh, sorry. That's an awfully considerate and human thing to say, Charlotte. I don't forgive you, but I do appreciate the sentiment. It's growth, and it's more proof that you actually care. Tonight, if you want, but it's there. Uh, wow, um, that did not go how I expected. Well, th thank you, um, uh, okay, I can't take any more of this mush. I'm getting another latte. <laughs> I could talk mush for hours, but if you insist. Here at DMP, we're all inclusive. That means that the building is wheelchair accessible. Can't fall down the stairs if there aren't any to begin with. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, he's by himself. Perfect. Oh, hello there, Steven. Oh, I'm so sorry about earlier. I do hope my, um, <coughs> friends didn't freak you out too much. Ah, well, uh, I admit it was a strange welcoming party, Miss... <laughs> There's no reason for Miss. You can just call me Grace. Hello. Oh, I I'm sorry. I don't typically deal in a first-name basis with people I've just met. It's much easier for me to remember last names. Well, <laughs> you know what. Neither did I for a while, but... Recently, I've learned that the sooner we get past formalities, the more relaxed the conversation gets. I see. Oh, but of course, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, so I can call you Mr. Cutter if you really want me to. How do you know my last name, Miss? Ah, well, <laughs> funny you should ask. It was an associate of mine. He mentioned your name in passing, said that you went to the university here. Just seems like lucky chance that I... That, well, we managed to find you. Fate is funny like that, isn't it? Funny to you, perhaps. I still don't quite understand why these people seem to think I have this deep connection to them and the bad one at that. Fate or not, it's a rather cruel joke if there's someone not in on it. Oh no, I agree. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> uh, I've never really understood their humor. It's modern stuff but back to my associate um i met him on a business trip in france you see he spoke with real alacrity and charm though at the time he was very sour about his situation uh, still he did put in a good word about you so you must have had a good friendship with him right i can't help but notice that despite your supposed friendship with his associate you failed to mention his name oh i did Oh, how silly of me, I apologize. His name was Guy Lecateau. He never said how he knew you, though. He he did speak a lot about the most peculiar things, like magic, enchantments, and something about a winter queen at one point, like all this literary stuff? Or maybe acting? I don't, I don't know. He was quite old, though. Was he a professor of yours, or an alumni student or something? Is that alcohol on your breath, miss? <clears throat> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's, uh... Uh... <laughs> Maybe they changed up the ingredients in this coffee. <laughs> it does taste a little different. <laughs> I... I see. Well, if that is the case and you are not, in fact, junk, uh, have you considered going into creative writing? You've got quite the talent for pulling stories from nothing. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. That's very nice. Wait, hang on, what's that supposed to mean? Merely that for the last two minutes or so, I have had no idea what you've been talking about. Only that you seem to believe very strongly in what you're saying. Oh, really? Well, it... <clears throat> Sorry. Maybe I just, uh, <laughs> mistook you then. I, I suppose there is more than one Stephen Cutter in the world. I've been told I do have one of those faces. Yes. It's a face one doesn't easily forget. 
Miss... Have I done something wrong? You and everyone else in here seem to be treating me like some sort of criminal, waiting to slip up so you can administer some form of, of whatever you call justice. No. <laughs> no, Stephen, you're, you're okay. I think, uh... Everyone is just really tired. I... I see. Well... My condolences, then. I hope they, uh, they get some decent rest soon? Well, we still have a lot of work to do, but we're getting there. But with that said, they do not half give me a bloody headache. I wish, oh no, I crave the day where we can go five minutes without screaming or throwing bottles or crying. There's so much crying, Stephen. They all cry at least once. Uh, well, thank you for that information. This sounds like office gossip to me, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom and leave you to it. Mm, you do that. Y'all want to hear my mixtape? Okay, so really you really want to be that guy that says y'all want to hear my mixtape? I waited three years to put this out. What? Nope, no, nope, we're turning it off. It's it's going it's going off. It's going off. Um, uh, hey, hey, uh, uh, Ezra, hey. Oh, hey, Tommy. I was um, I was actually wanting to talk to you about something. Oh, um. Really? Um, I was just coming for the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Dope. Superb. Tight. Yeah. Cool. Sick. Um, I wanted to apologize. Well, then it seems that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, li listen, I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the whole John thing. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for um, being a dick, first of all. When I was just waking up, I couldn't really remember what made me, you know, me. I was still in my teen mindset, you know, impulsive, uh, irrationally angry, quick to violence. When I approached you on the beach, I was instigating. I was looking for a fight, and... I'm sorry. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Um, that's unexpected. Well, um, I accept your apology if you accept mine. I I know how painful th that all can be. Being being stuck in limbo like that. Um, in fact, the the glitching that you had to go through. That's that's exactly what it was. What what I was like as well. Not remembering, hurting, and all around not yourself. And I just, I kind of figured if I could survive it, you could too, with all your sleepers that were so strong. And I took that choice out of your hand and caused you a lot of pain. And I'm sorry. Well, from what I've heard and seen, it's not like we've had much of a choice to begin with. This game is already full of pain. Well, what's a little more to speed up the process, right? Well, yeah, you might be right. But as I've said to other people, um, just because we kill each other sometimes in gruesome ways, that doesn't mean we have to like it. After all, not even a killer is heartless. What was it like? I, I mean, for you. What happened? Oh, that's not something I've talked about in a bit. To start it, it was it was really early on. Um, Vincent and Doc were the only ones awake at the time. And the bits that, that sometimes spin that wheel thing that MG goes on about, um, it made her not evil and have a conscience and something in me slipped thanks to those same bits like i just 
part of my story was there, but not. And it it made my name be like Teemus Greenland or something. I, I tried to push through the crack and I got my name wrong. I thought it was Thomas instead of Tommy. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a good thing we're past it now, right? If we've got everyone, why aren't we out? Oh, that's because of the more metagame going on between Vincent and MG. Um, what we were told was that everyone needs to side with Vincent or the game would be over and we lose. Even more recently, we were told that for the 10 souls that are needed, Doc doesn't count and Thorin sided with MG. Oh, fuck. Well, that explains why the kid is always around her. Is that why people are always so tense around him? Uh, yeah. It's it's only really with a couple of us who were awake at the time. Uh, Vincent, Dot, Grace, me, Percy Jr., and Valencia. Though some of us handle it better than others. Basically, Thorin thought the MG was his imaginary friend in the real world. And when we tried to explain to him that she's a god of murder, well, you can guess how that went. He's a kid, and I mean, we when he sided with her, we all thought we lost. But then her new season rolled around, and we were still waking people up. And so because of the metagame going on, that's why a few people are tense around Thorin. Hmm. I'm... Sorry, but I I guess I just don't I don't get it. Get what? How Thorn was treated, I guess. <laughs> like uh, for starters, he's just a kid. Uh, secondly, if the murder god is his friend, why would he listen to a group of strangers telling him that his best friend is a fucking demon? Third, uh, ostracizing him afterwards certainly wouldn't make it any better. It would only prove the point that we're in the wrong. I mean, shit, if I were in that position, would I even side with us? We should have done better by him. Or maybe we wouldn't have lost the first time around. Then those are all very valid points. But she only gave us three minutes. Ah, uh, okay, well that poses a problem. <sighs> Regardless, we're all still waking up. And there seems to be a lot more going on than just this. Consider that if all of this was meant to happen, first story, we might still be able to get out of here. So maybe, just, just maybe, they should lighten up on the kid. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but listen, if you want to go talk to Grace or Doc, wherever he is this time, and change their minds, be my guess. I've been around them for over 50 murder games and through all of MG's manipulation. They aren't going to change their minds. You know what? I think I will go talk to them. Yeah. Okay, so I was coming here for a reason, but I'm telling you right now that what you have there, that is, that is a terrible idea. Oh, and why would that be? Um, I I hate to say it, but trust her on this one. Yeah, that, that sounds like a next episode problem. We still have this episode problems. Speaking of which... Next episode? <laughs> Do you always talk like a fucking Dragon Ball Z announcer? <laughs> uh, y yes, yes, she does. Hey. Um, eventually you grow numb to it. Would you mind if I... Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. I am calm. Serenity Sorry, now. Yep, yep, okay, yep, I'm okay with the Charlotte thing. Yep, I'm okay with that. We're good, yep. Okay. Continue. I'm, I'm getting to it. I... Uh, fuck, how do I... <sighs> okay. So I've been doing some thinking, and uh, I'm aware I have been rather terrible to both of you. I mean, not really. As where you do not remember the part where I reset your whole ass brain, which is good for you because it was clearly agonizing. Oh. 
And as for Tommy, uh, the list is longer, obviously, what with the thing where you glitched out and I just kind of let you suffer and I had all the good parts of your life from you and then there was the whole thing where I kept avoiding telling your whole story and the part where I literally sliced you to ribbons. Okay, okay, okay. There's <laughs> no use reopening old wounds. Yep. All right. List is long. We get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a little overwhelming now that I've said it out loud. Um, anyway, I'm, uh, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. I'm... Sorry about all that. Okay. Uh, what? Well, I mean, you said you're sorry. I said okay that you are sorry, and here you go. I accept. Did you expect me to get angry and yell at you or something? Yes, actually, I did expect that. I'd be yelling if it were me. I forgive you. What?! I forgive you. Honestly, I've had worse experiences with worse people. If nobody gave me a second chance, I'd be in the shitter already. You might have run through those second chances with other people, but not me. So, I forgive you. And it's been at least 20 games since you tried to hurt me or much of anyone as badly as cutting me to ribbons. So I'm guessing the Help MG Gazebo group has had some progress. So I accept your apology. Uh, I, oh, uh, okay. That's, uh, that's a lot better than I expected. Um, thank you. <clears throat> yes, I forgive you on one condition. Sh sure, a anything I can do, I will do. Oh, it's so easy. This is gonna be so easy to do. You have no idea. Something super duper easy that you could accomplish with only the snap of your tiny, tiny, tiny fingers. It is so, so, so easy. Ezra, just tell it me what the so fuck it is. Put water in the pool. What? Put water in the pool. Why? Because water goes splash and I like water. Like, <laughs> Apparently, this whole time, it's been empty? Um, actually, she didn't even tell us about it until a few, quote-unquote, months ago. Oh my god, you didn't even tell him about it until a few months ago. Oh, the, the whole point is it's the weird 80s motel aesthetic. Part of the point is there's no water in the fucking pool. What? Are you scared of water or something? No! No! Oh, so you're afraid of water, I see. I'm not fucking scared of water, you ass! <laughs> you know, I think I read on Wikipedia that murder gods are scared of water. So that adds up, uh, though it is Wikipedia. Oh my gosh, so. shut up. Fine! I'll add a fucking lever so you can add water to the pool. Are you happy? Yes. Very. And, uh, Tommy, I didn't say it before, but, uh, I also accept your apology. Thank you. Yeah. In case you happen to be one of the people who can't handle regular dairy, we do in fact have almond milk, which is not real milk. It's just crushed almonds. Actually, we have a lot of weird not actually milk stuff here. It's the void. This is all to say, why do cockroaches have milk and who the heck figured that out? All right, got the drinks. Whew. Hey, where's Thorin? He went over to the counter to get some sugars. I've uh, been more. over there a while, though. Yeah, go on, yes, go on. Yes, yes, Starting yes. to get a bit worried. Hello there, boys. I'm assuming this look a little sugar-stealing kobold is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the Junior working at the counter, and he looked really, really sad. But he let me have all of the sugar! I got like 60 of them! Oh, oh perfect. Hey, you won't need any sleep for like a week. Yeah. Don't eat all of those, dear. You'll get a horrible tummy ache. Sleep is for the week! Leave all the regulation! Yeah! <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do with all this? Uh, oh, I got an idea. Uh, Thorin, you ever try uh, making a house of cards before? Me and Papa did it all the time, but a boiler would always knock them or blow them <sighs> down. <laughs> ah, don't worry. When you're living with me, no one's gonna huff or puff or blow your house to the ground. You can take, you can make all the card houses you want or sugar and Valencia houses. and Percy can come over when they're married and have a bunch of kids, uh, and they can bring over their uh, sugar. We can make a town. Uh, and then okay, you know what? Uh, no, okay, uh, hold on one moment. Let's uh, hmm, uh. Mm, mm. Uh, you know what? Uh, how about we actually see if we can uh, we can make a 
make one of them houses first. Uh, oh, uh, why don't we try it with those sugar packets you got there? Can you do that with these? <laughs> Heck yeah, you can. <laughs> I really impressed Miss Sim with that kind of skill there. You think so? That'd be super cool. Definitely. I mean, she helped me to improve my art, and I bet you she can help you. You know what? You can teach her how to create these little sugar house thingies. <laughs> so, she's like your best friend too? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. She's my best friend. I mean, I'm glad she brings you happiness too. <laughs> Alrighty then, little buddy. Let me show you how to get her done. Let's see. So you're gonna wanna... Oh, and remember to share. Sharing's for caring. So, how have you all been? Are you enjoying your coffee? Right. Okay, oh, oh, be careful with the sugar packets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. You know, even better with you here, Val. I got an extra coffee for you if you want it. Oh, I couldn't possibly. But thank you for the thought. Wait, did you actually ever, you know, drink that? So oh, oh, be careful with that one. Oh, boy. Oh. About alcohol. <laughs> alcohol? Boy, this is just caffeine. Ain't no alcohol in these drinks. I've had alcohol, <laughs> alcohol, but not caffeine. Now, it smells divine. Though I doubt it would need as much sugar as you grabbed, and I'm not playing with. Uh, I'm not so sure. That, uh, that there's some bitter stuff. Well, whenever you two come to visit, I'll make you a pot of the good stuff. Oh, I'd love that. Maybe Thorn would like a sip too, huh? I know it's a big kid drink, but you can drink it when you're little too. I've never had coffee before. <laughs> let me let me try it. All right, hang on there, little buddy. <laughs> What's the magic word? Please. All right there then, you there you go. <laughs> Just a little bit there to get you acquainted with the taste. <laughs> get ready to take care of a hyperactive kid. <laughs> Um, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes some getting used to. I didn't like tea when I was little either. Drinks like these definitely take some growing up to enjoy, I suppose at least. <laughs> Heck, you might not even like it then. I don't know much about coffee, but with tea, sometimes it can give you more energy. It's not very useful unless you're staying up reading a book. You know, it sort of gives me the tingles sometimes. Tingles? I... I can feel it! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna run forever! <laughs> I'm gonna go run around! <laughs> oh my God, oh. And there he goes. Oh. Man, he's a good kid. He really is. Hey, thank you guys for being so awesome with him. I, he really thinks the world of you two. No, I should be thanking you. You're so kind to him. That offer for if... when we get out. That's just beautiful, Hugo. Excuse me if this is too much to say, but you're truly a paragon. Oh, well... That's really sweet. <laughs> Thanks for saying so well. I mean... It really means a lot to hear. And, well, hey, I meant what I said, too. When we get out of here, you guys are always welcome to come stay with us anytime. You, Percy, Dev, Thorin, and everyone else. I mean, we're we're all part of a family now, and you're always welcome at my home. You're always such an optimist, Hugo. I would love to be able to stay with you all. It would be lovely to meet Dev and check in on Thorin. Well, now, that's a, that's a much prettier tune to fit in one such yourself, Valencia. Glad to hear that you're in higher spirits now. Thank you. I do hope things actually turn out for the better. We're gonna make it through this, guys. I believe in us. Cheers. Hey, if Cheers. I freestyle every time you guys order something, will you stop ordering things? Yes, that's right. We'll stop ordering things. Oh, good. Ah, uh, Jesus, that's her. Thomas. Ah, uh, oh, 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 it's actually it's actually Tommy. Not sure for anything. Just Tommy. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Are, are you okay? Yeah, um, just Thomas is my John. Oh. I'm I, I'm okay. It, it happens. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Coffee for Tommy then. Jesus, oh god. <laughs> uh. It's okay, Junior. Thank you. So, um, how are you holding up? 
Sir, I'm not supposed to have emotions on the job. Right. I'll take that as I'm dying inside and don't want to ask for help because Black Star shit is crazy. Right? Okay. Fine. I'm drained. I didn't mean to make it so obvious. I mean, if it hadn't been drained from earlier, it would be drained from working retail. At least I assume that's the case from how every show portrays it. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I kind of like working retail. It's a good distraction, and I like making people happy. I mean, yeah, you get the occasional jerk, but most people just want their latte. Which makes sense. Can't let the few rotten apples sour the whole tree. Exactly. Well, not on the topic of lattes. I had a question about the Black Stars cult. I see. Yes? Oh, okay. Um, I was just wondering... How widespread exactly is Murder God's cult on Earth? Like, is it just in some places, or is it everywhere? It's just about everywhere, from what I know. We were set up in a charity in Georgia, and I know there were a lot of sister branches all around, so... Wow, um, I guess that makes sense then. I just... <laughs> I, I, I just wasn't sure, since the only person I ever saw from it was my friend, Jason. Um, I... I just knew he had to come from somewhere, I guess. Oh, God. Black Stars and Jason brings back some memories. Jeez. <laughs> there was this one kid named Jason in my sect. Absolute nerve herder. <laughs> no way. Man, what are the odds that a Black Stars Jason in Georgia and Black Stars Jason Vile up in Alberta? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jason Vile? <laughs> are you? <laughs> no. Dude, I think we were dealing with the same Jason. Oh god, blonde hair, smarmy grin, kind of a wad. No fucking way. That little shit traveled all the way up to Canada just to help try and get make someone make get, get someone to make a wish? Now that's desperate. <laughs> his, his mom probably made a move because her special little JJ would never or something. I don't know, we kind of got tired of him. He must have moved after I left. Wouldn't be surprised if he was super desperate, though. <laughs> Well, he did prey on a guy on death row just to get the job done. I think I think desperate fits. Also, JJ <laughs> makes sense why he went by JV instead. Oh no, I can't believe Junior Varsity killed Tommy Gwen. To, um, wait, no. Oh god, no, Junior. I was not your twentieth kill. <laughs> oh no, my punch card. So close to a free smoothie. <laughs> Well then, how's about next time we're in the lounge, I provide you with that smoothie instead of Kill 20 doing so. Yeah, <laughs> sure. sure. Cool. It's a deal. Oh, and hey, thanks for the latte. Just doing my job, sir. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Speaking of Black Star stuff, I think you particularly might find this cool. All right. Go on. All right, all right, okay? Watch closely. Bam! Junior? Junior? Junior! Where'd he go? And bam! What's up? Yo! What, did you get some cool camouflage thing? Okay, okay, so, so you know how sometimes in the more, you know, dice rolly scenarios, I occasionally can kind of teleport no fucking way yeah actually i can do that all the time dude that's amazing i mean might as well right <laughs> i mean i don't use it for anything weird just it helps me get away from people for a while uh you know that makes sense yeah i figured since i was putting everything on the table i may as well put that down too Totally fair. I mean, I'm always down to find out about cool new powers, and even then, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of done keeping secrets. In that case, I support you, and I'm with you 100% of the way. <laughs> well, with your support, I'm going to go shadow step over to Thorn and refill his whipped cr uh, He's running. He's running. Oh. I'm going to... Uh 
I'll do, do it, it anyway. Give the child more. <laughs> give the child the sugar I was never allowed. Holy shit! Do you people really do this for eight to twelve hours? My God, food service is a fucking riot. Oh, these fucking drinks, too. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. <clears throat> okay. How do hey. I make a cap? Hey, Ezra. Huh? Over here. Come on, sit with me for a minute. I, I'm working right now. Junior, like, just walked away. Motherfucker, will I have to repeat myself? None of this shit's real. Come on. You know what? Fuck retail. Right. Okay, I'm gonna just... What can I do for you? Well, first of all, here's some of my secret drink because they're not gonna have anything that I take stocked in this place. Second of all, I have to be honest with you. I didn't really get the chance to be excited when you first popped up, but uh, time has passed and now my head's clear. Uh, I, I have a minute to smile every now and then. So if you don't mind, I'd actually really like to hear everything that you could possibly fucking say to me. Oh, brother, I hope you got a notebook, because, whew, there's a I lot. I don't need no fucking notebook. Okay, fuck, yeah, where do I start, right? Um, so, uh, I, I guess we'll just start from where you left off. Um, they didn't find you, right? You're still unconfirmed, but of course, our, our families kind of assume the worst knowing what happened with Sam. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what happened with Sam? Because last I checked, and this may be my memory, you know, being a little fucky with me, but I watched his plane go down just before mine. Who do you think was trying to find you? <laughs> Sam didn't have any kids before the war, Vinny, you know that. Yeah, I figured his parents just went off and, you know, made another mistake. How the hell did Sam survive that? The plane was going down. His window popped up and he made a choice, either burn or jump, and he jumped. Of course, he, he suffered some serious injuries, but that fucking adrenaline rush lasted for two days while he was searching for you. He was eventually intercepted by some British troops, stayed in a hospital in London for three weeks, and was eventually transferred to Virginia. Then he went home. He assumed you went out and fighting. Wherever you were. I'll be damned. Oh, poor choice of words, I guess. Sam made sure that your story was known. Anyone and everyone who was around. You, you know, family, new friends, they all knew what went down. You know, he, he started the tree. The tree? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a family heirloom. Immediate descendants of Sam eventually carry this tree. All the branches have the Crane and Reed family. It, it kind of gets updated every five years or so. A big fucking wooden metal thing. It, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, you would have to see it. But mm. um, yeah, Sam made it a, a fucking point that your name carried a legacy. And it did. Damn, really? All right, well, lay it on me. What kind of fucking lies did that dickhead come up with to make that happen? Well, apparently, it all started with a bar fight. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, no, actually, that one's pretty fucking, that checks out. Fitting legacy, I guess. <laughs> nah, but, but see, your kids, God, they're, they're, they are the ones that truly, truly carried that torch. So, they, um, they turned out okay? Y you know, uh... Without me. I mean, they always kind of figured you were there, watching over them. That, that, that's what pushed Marshall so damn hard to the Second War. You know, it, he left it a decorated man all in one piece. God damn. Fucking. You know, he, he was always the more sensitive of the two. The little crybaby. He, he really fucking went off the war like that? Mm-hmm. Wish he wouldn't have. God damn. At least he came out in all peace. Now, Taylor, on the other hand, damn, did she just rise above her station. She tried to serve. Believe me, they wouldn't let her in to fight at all. And she refused to just be a nurse, so she, she tried 
other things. Sounds like my girl, always the first to punch, always the first to break things. No, she tried <laughs> disguises at first, uh, but, but eventually she <laughs> cut ties with that. Uh, tried inventing weapons, tactics, anything and everything to help with the war. But after Marshall came back, you know, she realized just how damaged the boys were. She started a company instead. It, it mainly focused on, like, prosthetic pieces for your face and your hands, and it, it grew to be a lot, a lot bigger. Jesus. <sighs> oh. Wish I could have seen it. My little trouble making mature and like that, but I, I didn't really think prosthetics would be, you know. It's an interesting line. Oh. I don't think anybody thinks about wanting to be a prosthetic maker when they grow up. <laughs> you know what? That is fucking fair. Hopefully you'll get to see them grow when this shit's over with. Don't know if I will, but that certainly is the hope. Why not? Well, when, when I, I was I was in my plane when I made my wish. I was the last in our squad. I was the last to go down. Once I get back, I'm most likely just going right on back to crashing. Shit. Yeah. But you know what? If that motherfucker can survive a crash like that, I've always been tougher than that motherfucker too. So, you know <laughs> what? Maybe I, maybe I can take my chances with jumping. Uh, he named his kid after you, you know. His first one. Vincent Jonathan Crane. Of course he fucking did, that goddamn drama queen. <laughs> I... Yeah. Thank you, Ezra. I, I mean, it, this was nice. It, it means a lot. Of course. I'm I'm glad I could offer you something with times being how they are. Yeah. I should I should probably head back to the counter though. I was in the middle of making Percy's drink, you know, fucking retail. Fuck retail. Oh, fuck retail, dude, man. You know what? Fuck it. Hey, guys, if you're thinking of starting an uprising in the coffee shop, please don't. Fuck retail. Mm, please don't. Uh, Grace? Oh, you go doing away, okay? Tommy. You're not yeah. Junior. Uh, okay, so that looks pretty serious, and I'm going to take that as a you're not doing okay. <sighs> it's okay, Tommy. It's not like my life isn't already a mess. This is just an unfortunate reminder of that fact. <sighs> Grace? Did something go wrong with your crush again? Ah, oh, Tommy, you're five seconds away from me crushing you and not in the cute sense. Oh, come on, Grace. You know I'm just giving you shit. What happened this time? <sighs> what didn't happen this time that hasn't already happened? He shows up with that stupid smile and all that politeness. Ugh. And then when we sit down to talk, he's all happy-go-lucky oblivious again, so... I thought I'd match him this time, but it's just deflection after deflection. And Tommy, is it too late to try and find an axe? A very, very sharp axe. G Grace, Grace, you already tried an axe and that just made it worse. Ironically, Tommy, that night was the most productive conversation the two of us ever had. But I don't want to have to resort to cutting everyone's limbs to get answers around here. As it is. Okay, well, I think that maybe we need to pull back from getting answers a bit then. Um, how about instead you give me some answers and we just kind of talk about normal lives? Like, how would your parents have felt about this obsession of yours? Tommy, I'm going to make the assumption that they would be at least mildly disappointed at me. Only I wouldn't really know, because I haven't spoken to them for 13 or so years now, therefore they're not a part of my normal life anymore, which means this line of conversation is irrelevant. -er. I see. 
Graham really didn't tell you anything about them, did he? Hmm? Oh, no, 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 he, he did. Kind of. <laughs> well, he delighted in telling me how much of a failure my dad was. So everything I know I had to piece together from memories and reading between the lines. Ah, uh, Grace Garden, age 12, detective at heart. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> God. I mean, do you know anything? I mean, you were him once. Grace, it doesn't work like that. I, I know you didn't ever experience it, but it was more like a vague dream that felt more ethereal than real. If I did remember anything, I couldn't guarantee that I'm not mixing things up with my own memories. I mean, both our parents died when we were young, so those memories could be easy to mix up. Well... <sighs> I do have a picture of it all. Uh, blurry around the edges, but I do remember my mother especially. She was... Uh, well, to put it blunt very loud she was a suffragette actually you know her campaigning for the women's vote and all oh yeah that's right i sometimes forget that you're from that time period that has to be rough well i suppose but it all worked out in the end <laughs> she was stubborn and even when women over 30 got the vote she just kept going until more women could and my dad i I believe he caught her at the tail end of the first war. He just moved from London to, well, get away from Graham. And I guess he really liked us fuck. They married and five years later I showed up. Damn. Sounds like some good role models, as well as a nice how they met story. My parents didn't have anything like that for how they met. Oh? Well, actually, yeah, I don't think your parents have ever come up. Oh, well, there isn't really all that much to them. They died when I was like seven or eight, and without any other family around to tell me about them, I only have distant memories and news articles about them. Oh. <laughs> Coincidence. Coincidence? Were your parents in the news as well? Uh, oh, no. I mean, maybe... I can't remember. It's just that mine died when I was seven as well. Oh, damn. Small world, I guess. Um, remind me, how did they die? Well, I never really said, but I remember one day my father bought a new car, uh, Galloway. It was his pride and joy. I, <laughs> I remember he wouldn't stop polishing it and boasting about it. And then a few weeks later, I was waiting for them to pick me up from school and... They never showed up. I'm not sure on the details, but I think a tire burst, and that was it. A few days later, I was put on the train to London and was sent to live with an uncle I never even knew I had, and... Well, you know the rest. Man. Even still, that's hard, Grace. Losing your parents is hard, uh, especially when you're young. Mm. Uh oh <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to ramble. I mean, if you don't mind me asking, what happened to your parents? Oh, I don't mind at all. There isn't much to say, I guess. They were both construction workers. That's actually how they met. On the job when building a new school, I believe it was. Oh, your mother as well? Oh, yeah. It, it was her passion. Working with her hands, seeing such big projects come to life. And it led to me, her Best construction project, as she would say. Tell me, that's so sickeningly sweet, it's painful. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. I, th I thought you'd think that. It's um, one of the few memories I have of them. Um, even when I was young, I was always in the hospitals and whatnot, so they started working on other new hospitals in the surrounding areas. Um, I, I think it was a planned extension to the... Um, Devon General Hospital, a little south of um, Edmonton. And anyways, not, not important, but um, while they were working on one of the buildings early on, um, one of the bulldozers that was there malfunctioned. Um, I, I think the news article said they thought it was sabotaged, but um, anyways, the 
brakes stopped working and it rammed the framework full force. The whole thing came down and my parents were two of the 19 workers who died that day. Well, so a hospital literally killed your parents. That's very dark. I mean, when you put it that way, um, I always blamed whoever didn't want them working on that hospital. So who was looking after you all this time? Oh, well, um, hospital staff, teachers, the occasional caseworker trying to find me a new home. But no one wanted to adopt a chronically ill child that no doctor could confidently pin down. And I was either at home or at school, and when, when the hospital would let me go to school at least. Um, so I just got by and I watched TV, met Angelina and slipped out of my Canadian accent. Um, and then I met Jason and it all went downhill from there. That's a lot. Wow. I'm sorry, Tommy. It's... It's okay. That's just life. Especially for those that MG picked for her stories. I mean... Here, how's about this? You seem to be getting pretty down in the dumps. Why don't we get you a non-alcoholic drink? Um, hey, hey you go. Um, y you got a second? Yo, what's up, Tommy? Okay, so, um, hey, I don't deal with alcohol that much, so I have no idea what to do. Any chance you have a drink recommendation on how to help Grace? She's a little more than drunk. Uh, yeah, water. Oh, Hugo, you angel! Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh, you, you really are drunk. Hold on, yeah. I'm just going to get some myself. I'll bring you back some. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Thanks, Hugo. You're the best. No, oh, no prob. See you later. I just realized that I could grind these coffee beans with my bare hands. I could too. But we wouldn't because it's probably against some sanitation law. Unless you do it in your own drink because I want to see it. All right, here we go, beans. Hey, what up, big brain? Mm. Oh, no nuggies, please. Yeah, it's a no -no. <laughs> just easy. Just easy, just easy. You mind if I have a seat? Sure, sure, why not? All right. Crushing beans with my hands. Crushing beans with your bare hands, huh? <laughs> Yep. Mm. Wow, that's that's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, crushed beans. So, uh, mm. how you been holding up, man? Since you know, uh, you didn't really get to, uh, you didn't really <laughs> get to answer that question on account of Mr. Fetus. Oh. Uh, well, I'm, I'm chilling. Life is life. You know, <laughs> I'm not letting any of that bother me right now. Anyway, um... Right. Yeah, what do you like to... What do you like to do? I see you're, you're fit. You like to work out, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Well, first of all, glad, yeah, glad to hear you're doing okay. But yeah, yeah definitely. I, I mean, I lift. How much? Eh, 240. I'm trying to get that up, though. Well, uh, before I lost my legs, the most that I could lift was... Hold on to your pants. 6.5k in a single back lift. Dude. <laughs> Bro, I mean, like, uh -huh. we heard, we, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. We heard the whole thing about Superhuman, but, like, that breaks Paul Anderson's record. Like, <laughs> yeah. by a long shot. <laughs> Man, I'd be lucky to break 300. How do, you, how do you do it? I, um, well, training and being deathly afraid of heat and cold <laughs> okay uh, ne negative reinforcement is re negative reinforcement aside uh, what what's your what's your routine fear of being put in a boiler room uh, uh, no 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 jesus christ i mean your workout routine other than you know doing kegels on what was it thursdays saturdays um okay first question do you want pre-leg workouts or post-leg workouts pre-leg Ezra, are you, uh, you sure you're okay? N never mind. Don't answer that. 
I guess post since that's Russia and Yamai? That, no, don't worry. I remember the majority of my early workouts. Uh, oh, okay. okay, well, that brings me to my next question. Do you want to run through them with me at the lounge? Because I can just surprise you with them there. <laughs> sure, surprise me. I haven't, feel like, I haven't felt a good burn since I got here. I want to shake things up. <laughs> Maybe when I get out, I could give Kate some good lesbian panic. Oh, you got a girlfriend? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> gotta wait him back home, and uh, I gotta keep on living for her, you know? She's basically perfect in every way. Oh, okay, that, uh, that's hyperbole, obviously, but she's great. Star water polo player. We're really sweet and nice, but also, you know, blunt and honest. Freaking hot. Loves video games like I do. I'm trying my best to be the gal she deserves. But uh, what about you? You got anybody waiting back home? I, I know you have a brother. Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> I never really had the chance to explore stuff like that. That and I, I kind of spent most of my time in my room after I got, well, wheeled. But damn, you know, I think about it often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I see it. I feel that. Well, you got your eyes on someone lately? Uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of. But I hardly know her. You know, but that can always change. Hey, listen, man. I say go for it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, yeah? Oh, absolutely. I just... Well, I... I want to know who she is before all that. You know? Like, gotta be a friend first. No, 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 no. I get you. I get you. I, I, I obviously didn't mean just, you know, just go up and say, Wait, we both got buckets of chicken. Want to do it? Huh? Have have you seen expiration date? Uh, no. What what is that? Like a movie or something? The the short film. It, it was for uh, TF2. TF2. Team Fortress 2. That goofy FPS with the guy that was like, oh, I am heavy weapons guy. And he says uh, my weapon. Mm, All that stuff. Uh. Ah. Uh, uh, dang. <laughs> TF2 was like around for twelve years, didn't? Didn't think it'd ever fade out. You play a lot of games, Ezra? I, I know you know Mario. You, you, you were talking about, like, the Mario Karts of the future. <laughs> Although, I guess, you know, at the same time, games from my time are, like, old for you. Yeah, uh, a good, like, 20 to 25 years old. But Mario is timeless. Mario is obviously timeless. Uh, Pokemon, you put, you know about Pokemon? Yeah, they oh, pass. They, they make new ones every year. Jeez, yeah. oh, they're, they're still they're working Game Freak to the bone, huh? Uh, people are buying the game, so <laughs> I don't know what they expect. Oh, I hope, I, I'd, I'd hope that game I'd hope that game development would lighten up in terms of like the crunch time. But either either way, you know you know Animal Crossing. There was supposed to be a new one coming up before I got taken. We haven't had an Animal Crossing game since the '30s. Since the '30s, huh? Jeez, guess. Well, I guess I'm missing out <laughs> currently yeah. on, I suppose, what's going to be the next timeless game that everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought the gap between I, I thought the gap between New Leaf and like this other game that was getting released was long, but <laughs> anyways, Minecraft. Oh, you play Minecraft? I shit, I know that one. Uh, I play that one pretty often. It's the largest selling game of all time. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I pick it up sometimes. Still, I mostly play in creative mode. Can't you know? I'd rather be building stuff than dealing with creepers every night. And, you know, if I got the free time, make a few skins here and there, I know that okay, I know how to, I uh <laughs> I know how to use the I know how to use like Photoshop and stuff, so shrug. I, I like designing clothes. Huh, you know, I, yeah. I was in the middle of making a making a map based on based on Boston's harbor, but never got to finish because yeah, no. Oh shit. <laughs> well, hey, I I get you, I get you. I I'm more of a survival player myself though you know after the cave update dropped wait hang on they they made the cave update when uh oh shit uh that cave update comes like 2021 i think that oh I, I got something to look forward to i, I got a, i got a couple of things to get out of here for then <laughs> what year are you but, from uh, again uh 2019 oh it's about to happen uh, what do you mean? Nothing.
Boom, you shit, you'll get through it just fine. Uh, hey, I gotta ask, what is... No, don't, it? don't worry about it. Just, just make sure that you stock your shit up in January. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay, I... We take this moment to talk about stranger danger. That's right. If a person you don't know comes up talking wild spicy. Wild spicy. Just start beating the shit out of them. Just start swinging. Two piece in a biscuit. Solid men you come. Pow, pow. Blah. Why are they, why are they all hesitating me? Why do they all hate me? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What am I doing wrong in here? It's why do they know that I don't What's, um, What is that? Mr. Steven? Why are you hiding in the back room? Hmm? Oh, um, hello there. I, uh, I just needed a break from, from the yelling. And I get that. It makes my head hurt, and it's scary to see everyone being so angry all the time. Exactly. Everyone is so tense. They're shooting me dirty looks, muttering under their breath, uh, claiming I murdered them when they're clearly still alive. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Why are they saying these things that they really didn't? Are they living in they shoot me different? do they shoot me dirty looks too. Um, mostly Grace and Dr. McDilly. I didn't do anything wrong, but they still hate me. I'm 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 sorry. One of them is a doctor? Yeah. He shows up in games when you're not there. Okay. I see. So this is the game we're playing. I remember seeing you a lot, though. Oh, what a shame. Because I remember you, Thor and Blue. What? what do you mean? Do you remember the game show, Thor and Blue? Everyone falling into the water, the funny talking stone head with the gun. You might uh... not, you weren't calling yourself Thor and Blue back then, but I remember quite clearly. I don't think so. Well, Thor and Blue, you know what these games are, quite clearly, yes? In this one, I was the murderer, killing every single one of the other competitors. <laughs> Frankly, I'm amazed I got away with it. John figured me out immediately and didn't share, but that's irrelevant. Because when you figured it out, you asked me why I killed all those people. And I said the truth. I did it because I was told to. I asked if that made me a bad person. And you said yes. Ringing any bells yet? Uh, I don't... I... I never said that! Ah. Well, that answers my next question. Which would have been, how do you live with yourself? What? But... But I've... I've just been doing what Emmy wanted me to do. It makes her happy! Oh, precisely! You have been serving a goddess of murder and death, who what? by default is a terrible influence. If she wants you to kill, you kill. If she wants you to jump, you don't bother asking how high. Surely, by your own logic, Thor and Blue, by doing what you told, you are a bad person. No, I'm not. I never said... I... Is this... Is that why Grace doesn't like me? None of them like you, Thorin. Because of you, they're doomed to be killed over and over and over. Sometimes by you, sometimes by each other, whenever you get sequestered away, who knows where. Why would anyone like that? I don't know. I didn't know I was doing bad things. Congratulations, Thorin Blue. You do now. I didn't. Me too. I... Thorin, there you are! I was- uh, Sweetie! Oh, oh no, oh no, what, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Come here! I- I don't know what happened! He just looked at me and started crying. I- I don't know what's going on, but clearly I'm upsetting everyone in here, so I'll be going now. Uh, okay, but I didn't make a street outside of this coffee shop, so, uh... And there he goes, okay. Um, well, that- oh, oh, come here, sweetie. It's okay. Give me a hug. Shh. It's gonna be all right. Shh. You okay? He, he said I was a bad person. He did what? 
Why would he? I, I, okay, shush, shush, come on, come on. Let's go get a hot chocolate, okay? Okay. Okay, let's get a hot chocolate. Maybe get that nice jazz music back in here, yeah. Friendly reminder that not all of your problems can be solved by drinking hot chocolate. Trust me, I've tried, I've finished, and my problems were still there. Fucking bullshit. Ezra, are you okay? <laughs> no. All right, looks like those tears have slowed down. How's the hot chocolate? Good. I love whipped cream. You got some on the, your nose there, sweetie. Here, let me get that for you. Thank you. All right. Do you feel like telling me what the mean man said to you? I need to know exactly how many times I need to stab him. Well, he said I'm a bad guy and nobody likes me. And you make me do bad things. What? Thorin, you haven't done anything wrong. All you've been doing is playing the games, and the ones I run with you have always been pretty light. Have... have you done bad things before? Yes, I... I have. Really? Like what? Um, there's... a lot. You know how these games can be scary, right? And sometimes bad things happen to the people in them? Yeah, but it's just a game, right? Well, yes, but people still get hurt. A lot. Really? Yeah. People kill each other. People die. And sometimes it's really messy and scary. But none of it is real, right? It's all just pretend. Everyone always comes back. No, it's... it's... it's not... pretend. Yes, everyone comes back, but they still get hurt. You make it hurt over and over and over and over again? Yes. But... but you and me, we did that to people! We did what... we did that to them, and... and did I... they get hurt because of me? No, no, sweetie, it's... it's not your fault. I... I lied to you. A lot. Well, not so much as I hid how scary it was from you. But if we hurt people, you... Why did you do it? Why did you make me hurt people? You didn't really hurt anyone when you were helping me, sweetie. Or at least... Well, okay, you made King Dedede hurt some people, and you made a big scary lunch lady, but you didn't know. Oh. Okay, that doesn't really change! Obviously, that doesn't make it okay. I... You know how I told you things have to be scary? And how I get really sick when they weren't? Is that my fault too? No, no, sweetie! None, none of this is your fault! I'm the bad guy here! I'm the villain, you know? Just me. This place feeds off of bad things and I am... stuck here. In this place. If I don't make bad things happen, I get hurt. And, uh, part of me really likes making bad things happen. Which is really bad. Well, yeah, it's bad, but why did you make me do it? I... I didn't want to be alone. I have to grant wishes and bring people here. I have to make the games happen. I don't really have a choice in that. But I got tired of just running the games without a friend, I guess. And you liked my stories and my games, and you liked all the big shiny things I could do, and you liked playing pretend. And I thought, yes, I have to do bad things. Yes, things have to be scary, but maybe if you stayed with me, I could just play some games that were fun instead of scary, and maybe we could be happy. Oh. Oh. Is, is that really why you took me away? Because you were lonely too? Yes, it, it was. I could have granted someone else's wish. I could have taken someone else. But I wanted to make someone happy. Like, really, actually happy. <laughs> and I haven't done a very good job, have I? No, 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 it's okay! Sweetie, no, no, it, it's not. You wished to never be alone, and I gave you this nice fancy room, and then every time something scary happened, I pushed you into that room. 
I brought you here because I wanted to give you something nice, but covering up all the bad things here doesn't fix anything. And then, because you chose to stay, I told everyone they couldn't leave, which was a lie, I needed a big dramatic twist, and yes, that was for a reason, but it meant that some of the Awakened don't like you, and it's completely not fair. You didn't know what you were doing. I dressed it up all nice and did everything I could to lie to you. I've... I've been a really terrible friend. I'm sorry, Thorin. It's okay. It's hard to really understand everything that's going on, but if it helps, I forgive you. Really? You don't have to... You shouldn't... I... I want to be better. I want to be better for everyone, but especially for you. You deserve the world, Thorin. Well, if anyone can, I know it's you. I believe in you. Thank you, Thorin. Oh no, now I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> no, 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 don't cry. Here, uh, try some of my hot chocolate. It made me feel better, so it should make you feel better too. It's okay, Thorin, that's yours. There's gotta be something I can do to help you. I'll do whatever it takes. <sighs> well, that's the thing. A few people have asked me how they can help, but to be honest, I'm not even sure what can be done. No matter what I do, I have to tell stories, and those stories always have to be bad. Well, why don't you tell a happy story? I, I tried. It, it never really works. Well, whenever I try new things, it's hard to do all at once. But if you try something, you know, you just make things nicer. You used to make this is nice for me. Everyone else can help too. I know Hugo's pretty good at making things nice. <laughs> he is. You know, maybe that's it. Haley and Ezra's stories went better because both were a joint effort. Maybe all this takes is me sharing the wheel. If we all work together to make a nice scenario, maybe it can be. Yeah, we can do it together because we're me and you are best friends. Trust us, we can do anything. <laughs> I sure hope so. Don't worry, Emmy. Just as I do, and it'll all be okay. I'll try. Give me a hug. Mm -hmm. I love you, Emmy. I love you too, Thorin. Um. Okay. All right, everyone. Uh, let's. I hope you all feel refreshed, because it's time to get back to the games. Like, oh god, it is really time to get back to the games. We are kind of behind. We've spent more time in this coffee shop than I thought we would. Get to the games, everyone! Yeah! Oh, thank god. Ooh, so some pretty good coffee. Tail. You did a good job, Ezra. <laughs> all right. Made some, good some good, good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Okay, well, well, first of all, we, we don't really have time for a break, so we're just gonna keep on going. So I'm gonna try something a little different, since, you know, I'm trying to make things better. Fortunately, next scenario should make things a little bit easier. Welcome to scenario two, Discord advertiser friendly party, suggested by Phoenix Rising 1992. Hello and welcome to Discord Advertiser Friendly Party, a fun game night with friends where nothing bad happens. Based off the wildly successful Discord murder party, but adjusted for general audiences. The PG tour hard R, if you will. The setting, of course, is Townsington, a quiet little seaside village atop Casilda's Peak, which is totally a real cliff in, uh, okay, not England, I'm changing it up, right, um, Scotland. Scotland, they have cliffs, I think. Right, anyway, it's just lovely here. You've got everything. Rolling green hills, cute little brick cottages, a community garden, and of course, a maximum number of 11 residents, because if you have more than that, you're not quaint anymore. Of course, there's just one rule here in Townsington. No dogs allowed, as all of you are horribly allergic. Not like deathly allergic, of course, just, you know, you'll, you'll get some sniffles, which will conveniently kick in at silly times, and nobody wants that. Who wants to be sneezing while tending the community garden? Uh... <laughs> so, what is advertiser friendly about this? We have done this almost exact same scenario, well, not counting me and just me, most of us have done this scenario at least three times. Well, you see here, uh, according to this brief, <clears throat> 
This scenario can't contain any swearing, murder, or violence of any kind. Because, you know, gotta get in that ad revenue. Gotta please the shareholders. Now, I understand this is a bit of a burden on us all. Looking at you, Vinny. Fuck you, Lottie. Uh, by fuck you, I think you mean fun you. Right, just, just... Just go with it, okay? It's a paid scenario, and I was thinking, well, since I already can't kill or hurt anyone here, this is the perfect place to try to see if we can maybe make something happier? Oh, well, you just said you had a quote to meet. Oh, well, was that a lie, too? And, no, it's not. It's just, I, I've been thinking. This whole place runs off the power gained from stories, right? And, uh, Haley and Ezra, we work together and made your stories go okay, right? Yeah, it's true. Build different, baby. Yeah, right. So nothing blew up. So by myself being a black star, everything leans toward tragedy. But maybe if we all work together to make something nice, maybe we can actually finish an episode without anyone dying. The best stories come from twists and turns, and it's been turning down for a long time. So maybe I can convince the place that a good ending, you know, has enough energy to beat the system. So we're monsters inking it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you got out of the Lotus to do with the power of friendship, right? You know what? That's true. Why not? Let, let's give it a shot. Oh, hell yeah. An episode where nobody dies? That sounds like an awesome idea. Uh, Lotus Eater? I, I, I want to ask questions, because I, I have some questions. Uh, I don't really think we have the time to get into that right now. Yeah, you're right. Right, so on that note, let's get ready for the night phase, shall we? <clears throat> Where corgis. Night falls upon the town. You all snuggle in your beds at 8 p.m. sharp after a nice cuppa, as any respectable citizen would. But of course, unbeknownst to you, two citizens recently took a trip to a dog show. Now, here in the night, they transform! Limbs shrink, floof appears, snoots sniff the sea breeze. Where corgis are set loose through, the t through Townsington to cuddle. Whom shall you two infect with some unfortunate sniffles? Okay, making some notes here. Okay, so that's that. Uh, next, we've got the seer. So every pleasant little town has its secrets, and your superpowers are one of them. Wow, an actual psychic, what are the odds? Sure, you come from a series of horrifying experience, experiments, but thanks to censorship, we can't actually show them outside of references that will seem utterly horrifying once the fridge lo logic kicks in. But hey, this is a show about healing! And also reading minds, which is a thing you can do. Fortunately, uh, you're asking me right now what this person's role is, and I'm gonna tell you that. Wow, crazy. Um, bodyguard, you know damn, uh, well, darn well, that something is afoot here in Townsington. You're not sure what, but you can feel it in the air, and it's making your eyes water. Fortunately, you're loaded up on Benadryl, and that means you're ready to defend the town from its fluffy foes. Unfortunately, you can only stand guard over one person. So who will it be? Who do you think is the most at risk? Well, you've... fair enough. Th that's the right choice. Thank you, I appreciate it. Ahem. <clears throat> Gardener. You are so alone. Things have been really hard on you since your spouse died... left. But it was like an amicable divorce, so... Shoot, this is already starting to get dark. Okay, the brief, the brief. Anyway, it's time to get back on the horse. Tell me, who would you like to leave flowers for? Whom would you like to form a connection with? <laughs> Excellent, very good. Okay, so, day phase! <clears throat> All right. <sighs> so, first things first, uh, Valencia! You oh. got a comically large rose with a card that says, hey, winky face. Oh, how quaint. Indeed. Ugh. In less exciting news, uh, Haley was cuddled by corgis. And she sneezed, and she huffed, and she puffed, and she huffed so hard, she sneezed her, her way into the shadow realm. Which is a safe place where nobody dies. Wait, wait, the fudge? What? what is... What? Why? The... Oh. 
Oh, Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. The sh the sh she's, she's in the shadow realm, but that means she's okay. Uh, oh. Anyway, I, before I we <laughs> get into that I, stuff, uh, before we get started on things, uh, I have to do a thing here. Before we get started, thanks to Tara, who paid $20, we're all gonna have to spend this round talking about this stream's sponsor, Invasion Darkness Tales. I may not be much of a mobile gamer, but Invasion Darkness Tales is a super cool app that I love and have definitely played. There are cool characters who fight and stuff, and if you click the link below, you get a cool character to brag about to the three hip gamers who are also definitely playing Invasion Darkness Tales. Isn't that right, everyone? Everyone, tell the yeah. audience how much you love the game and what sick gamers you are. Are you talking about Invasion um. Darkness Tales, the greatest mobile app with 3D graphics? Oh my gosh, I love Invasion Darkness Tales. As you all know, I'm an extreme gamer and I just love how I can play it on my pocket mobile phone on the go. I literally cannot stop talking about Invasion Darkness Tales. It's true. I can't stop yeah, talking just... about it. It's true, you can't. Uh, but that being said, you do need to try to talk your way around this and figure out who uh, sent Haley to the Shadow Realm, but didn't kill her because nobody dies in this show. Uh, no, she's <laughs> All right, who did it? Right, she... Did Haley yeah. become yeah. a corgi? Is that... No, she, she was no, allergic she... to the corgi. It doesn't matter who did it. See, what see the mean? fucking pillow fort over there. They they stuck her in there. Oh. Yeah, she's oh, in the she's that's me. the shadow realm. Is she, is she gonna be that's okay? The realm. Well, if you I confess to your sins, like you'll get also, extra three hundred uh, gold for invasion darkness tales. Your army will be fortified. Like and and the diamond. All right, sorry, Junior. Everyone was yelling over you, and I'm sure you were saying something important. What was it? I, I was saying I would like to. I I I think we should band together t today and say uh, who did it. Yes. All right. All right. Right. Okay, so who did it? I want to know who the dog is. I want to pet you. No, we don't want to pet the dog. We're allergic to them, Junior. <laughs> Do you think that ever stopped me before? I know, right? It just takes a while. <laughs> like, I want to pet the dogs, too. I bet um, they're really hungry for some scritches. I'm no. with them on this. I really want to... bread because they're corgis. Was that a how? <laughs> I was making a guy. Was that a how? Corgis are adorable. Oh, God. sounded... Mr. Nandez. Oh my you god, I can't yeah. appreciate Are we going to stand here for the rest of time, or are we just not going to admit <laughs> who did this so we can all go home? No, no, no. <sighs> you guys being very suspicious right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <I think we're laughs> oh my god. Well, okay, I'm trying to get a story out of this, but if you guys can come up with a formal accusation, we can. Fine, I accuse you, go. Uh, oh, what did I do? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you go, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you go. can I hear your. Uh, Actually, wait, okay, offense first. Right, prosecution. I haven't run these games in so long. It's okay. Well, all I'm saying is I'm certain. I'm certain that you should download Invasion Darkness Tales. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but also, <laughs> at the same time, Yugo's sympathizing a lot with these dogs that we're supposed to be allergic to, so no, you, you have to go. But they're dogs! Your, your defense, I Hugo? Mean, that dogs. is true. Dogs are adorable, and you want to pet them all the time. Plus, they're like wear corgis, so they're made of bread. So, like, <laughs> wait, 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 you lost me on that last bit. What? Cor corgis are living bread loaves. <laughs> like, this is un oh, undeniable oh, fact. Okay, well, I'm just gonna move on to the votes. Uh, Doc, yay or nay? We we don't have time for the individual. All in favor, raise your hand. Say aye. 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 All opposed. No. The eyes have it. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I guess you go as you head off. T as you head off to a um, to the shadow realm. You start to sprout <clears throat> some floof. Your snoot slowly stretches out as your legs shrink. You are indeed a wear corgi. Go oh, it. Bye, guys. I'm about to do dog things. Man, bye, what a Hernandez. great thing. Goodbye, yeah, Hugo Hernandez. And hello, Invasion Darkness Tales. <laughs> Could every yeah. successful okay. guest that you make, you can earn 300 free gems. Okay, oh this is God. this has gone really off the rails. This is barely a story. Okay, you know what? Oh. Whatever. N night phase, night phase. We're going to the night phase. Okay, so uh, we're Corgi. There is now only one of you. Uh, who would you like to kill? All right, uh, Seer. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, bodyguard. Well, <laughs> you are, you are doing the thing. Thank you. Uh, and the gardener. Just waiting on the one last thing, and then we. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, so, moving on, uh, I think that's everyone. Okay, uh, day face, yay! Okay, so I just want to check with something real quick. Uh, What's up? Everybody's going to the pillow fort. I, yes. I can, I can see the fucking right. pillow fort moving. Y yes. They're not gone. Yeah, they're, they're in the shadow sure realm. Are we sure this is a good idea? Yeah, I'm just following the brief. I, I'm no one will die because that's no, 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 no. That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. I, well, no, no one's. Well, I'm just. I'm trying something new, Vincent. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Uh, it, we don't have time to worry about that. We just gotta follow the brief. Uh, speaking of the brief, um, first of all, uh, Tommy, you've been cuddled by Weracorgies, and now you gotta go to the Shadow Realm. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Blue. Feel better. Bye-bye. There he goes. Um, also, Valencia, you got a, an even bigger white rose, and it has another card that says, hey, times two, double winky face. Ugh. I'm sure she loves it. Okay, uh, well, um, that's-, that's Oh, no, I was, I was- I was playing uh, Invasion Darkness Tales. Val, Val, the bit's over. You, Val, you have to stop being a gamer long enough to actually play Discord advertiser friendly I'm sorry. party. I think she no, just I liked was... the game. And it's actually was... kind of fun. Guys, oh my god, guys, they're not paying us anymore. You have to stop. I was pondering the meaning of the white rose. Okay, well, while you got fine, okay, just take a break and pay fucking <coughs> invade, play Invasion Darkness Tales or whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep doing my character arc. It, it's gonna be great. All right. Yeah, missing. yeah so you go ahead. Um, hey, Grace and Doc, can I talk with you over what? here? Uh -oh. Uh, what is it? Over here, just farther away, past the pillow fort, so this can be a little more private. Yes, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, so. I, um... What? I'm not standing here all day. I mean, technically, we're... Don't technically me. Right, yes, my bad, yes. 100% not what I'm supposed to do here. So, I'm working on turning over a new leaf because, uh, things. Recently, I did some thinking and realized, well, okay, yes, it's not like I'm not aware I've done horrible things. But my whole existence feeds off of bad things happening. It's not great. I guess I'm an addict. I'm trying to be better. It's really complicated. Anyway, I have hurt you both really badly. To put it mildly, I, I, I broke all your limbs and sewed your mouth shut, Grace, and a uh, doc, uh... Well, we've both lost count at this point. Uh, yeah, and I've psychologically tortured both of you, and that's... I may feed off of bad things and stuff, but obviously that doesn't make it okay. I was working with Eldritch Morality, which is not the best system. It's super fucked. I shouldn't have done any of it. Anyway, this is getting long. I am genuinely really sorry that I hurt both of you, and I would like to try to do better. So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, you done? Uh, well, I, I think sorry is how these things usually end, so yes. Okay. Well, I'll be on my way then. Wh what? But, but you didn't- you gotta- I'm trying to have a conversation? Uh, well, what do you want me to say to that? Um, well, most people haven't forgiven me, so I can't expect that, but acknowledgement that I said the thing and I'm trying would be nice. <laughs> trying how? Well, I, I, I've been trying to tell nicer stories as much as I can given the circumstances, and I haven't really hurt anyone recently, and, well, I'm trying to make things as painless as possible. But, d d Doc, pl please say something. I apologized. Hmm? Oh. I thought this was either something to cause suffering because, you know, that's what you do, or it was an outright lie, but I just tuned out. I'm not lying. I'm really trying to do better. For literally everyone else. 
You beg Mr. Reed to stay. You coddle Miss Wong and Mr. Crane. But for me, it's always, shut up, Doctor. Or, fuck you, Doctor. Or, I'm going to shove you several miles away so you can't bother me or these other people you don't belong with, Doctor. I'll have you know I haven't snapped you away in, like, a year. And you're the one who's always being a dick to me. What did you expect? I can name and number every form of physical torture you put me through. We would, if we went into the four digit numbers, we would not even be close to the end of that list. After all that, why do you think I would be nice to you? Well, okay, yes, those are things that I did to you and I'm sorry. Things have been really hard for me and sometimes I have to make quotas and you happen to be there and that doesn't make it good. It's just what I had to do with the time. Yeah. Good to know I'm just a glorified stress bolt. No, 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 it's just, listen, my whole system feeds off violence and I, I have to... You know, yes! Yes, it does! Uh, it always has and you expect us to trust you. What's to say you won't break your promise in about, oh, let's say five minutes and hurt one of us again? What's to say you won't break any promises you're going to try and make? What about Percy or Junior or Valencia? Where's the nice happy boy that you promised all of them? Hell, what about all of us? You promised all of us something. Whoa, 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 back up. I did get it. I gave you all everything I could. I've done everything in my fucking power to help you. It's not my fault you all come from a fucked up universe. Oh my god, where is it ever your fault? I'm admitting it is a lot of the time, okay? I get it. I fucked up. I tried to give you all nice things that didn't work out. I hurt you all terribly. I've dragged you into horrible murder games. We're a part of this whole fucked up cycle and I'm trying to break it. I'm trying to do better, okay? I'm trying to make things better for everyone. Congratulations, you're trying. In nuclear physics, you don't try. You either do the job right, or everything gets blown to hell. Right now, you're in the blown to hell phase, which, after everything I've seen, sounds about right. Putting aside all your excuses, and your justifications, and your vague gesturing to things that you're trying, it seems to me, if this universe is as fucked up as you say, that you're either a world-ending eldritch horror, or you're not. And you can't stop being the first one. So if you're going to hurt me, hurt me. It's nothing new. But don't waste my time saying you don't want to. But... I don't... I'm... But... I'm trying to say I'm not going to hurt you anymore. Do you want to know how I can tell you're lying? I just told you not to waste my time. If there was any part of you that cared, you would have listened. I, but wait, I just, I'm not... I am leaving. I, I don't... I don't understand. You don't have to forgive me, but everyone else at least let me try. Well, allow me to enlighten you on why. You're the lesser of six evils. I believe Junior... I mean, what he said was evident with the coup, and maybe you do have everyone else fooled. But I've been awake longer than almost all of them. I still know what you really are. You're the murder god. Not Lottie or any of that bullshit. The murder god. You're nothing but a leech. But I don't want to be. And I don't care. Now, don't you have a game to run? Uh, I, um, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, um. Okay, a uh, house, yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, um, okay, right, everyone come back over, okay, so, yeah, right, back to Discord Advertiser Friendly Party, okay, um, so, who killed Tommy Gwen? Excuse me, I'm not killed. No, no um, hang on. Yeah, Miss put, put Tommy, I'm, I'm, I am it's... fine, and so is Tommy Miss Gwendolyn, Man. who's in the shadow realm, which is a pillow for it. Um, oh, are you whining? Oh, Percy, you don't, Percy, oh my god, did you just, Percy? I formally just... accuse Percy Blackwood. Oh my god, did you just turn into a fucking... Huh? Yeah. What? Let's let's oh. get him out of here. Uh, oh, is it my Is it back with pillows? Okay. Well, you're just adorable, aren't you, Percy? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, guess you you are very soft. Thank you. Thank thank you, sweetie. You're adorable. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Back off. Okay. 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 All right. Um. Yeah. I guess that's it. Uh, you guys yeah. found the last wear, Corgi. Uh. <laughs> 
You win! Woo! Yeah. Wow, Good job, everyone! Story. I'm leaving. Yeah. Um. So that's the end. Uh. So the the two people who were in the shadow realm, they they got some Benadryl and they got better. And the Weir Corgis actually it turned out that everything ended up being fine because um. Thorin is a genius and figured out a healing thing for allergies. So everyone is okay yeah. now. Yeah, you did hey. it. You saved it's the true. town. I'm okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm bread with legs. Uh, yeah. Sure about that. Everything's great. And this is the end and everything is good now. So we're great. <laughs> Maybe y'all aren't that great though. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm... <coughs> Whoa, uh, Miss M, what's going on? Uh, are you... <coughs> you're, you're bleeding! No, I, I'm not. It's... it's... Oh, shh, shh, shh. I, I, I just... Uh... I, 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 come on, does, does anyone know how to help? Uh, come on, come on, guys. Can, can anyone fix this? Anyone at all? She's ill. Unless we manage her symptoms, we we can't. No, no, of course you, you fucking can't help me. Of course, just just give me some space. Just just get away from me. It's Please, fine. Is there anything I can do? No, no, not really. Not really, sweetie. I just need you to go away. It's, it, I just need you to back off. Please back away. Like heck, we're leaving you like this. Yeah, I, we just want to help. I said... I said... Get away from me! I told you! Why didn't you listen? Oh God, I'm so sorry. It's fine. <coughs> Don't worry, man. Sorry. 